Hi to Chaco. And now I'm ready. We're ready to cast this game. We have a Naga second here for TPCBM. Death Knight first, Naga second. Death Knight is almost level 3. Demon Hunter is also almost level 3. And Naga is level 1. For uh, for Jack. So Naga versus Naga. And we have well, one Fiend so far. Okay, he's going. He's switching to Fiends. He made like a few ghouls. Now he's going Fiends. Black Citadel. Lich. Cool Frenzy. Of course, he's gonna buy the orb here with the lich. Meanwhile, we see some more creeping going on here. What is the knight of doing? What's Jack doing? Jack is building bears, getting uh, this abolish magic on the dryads. You already have a depth. I think you already has the depth. Good game. Good game so far. The creeping a little bit. Let's see what item did Demon Hunter get over here. Demon Hunter doesn't really have the best items. Sure, and not. I mean, he has one in the Ring of Protection, which is not that bad for first and that. Actually, pretty good. The Surflet also pretty good. Info Potion also pretty good. TP also pretty good. I just saw the cloak, cloak of shadows, and I was like, yeah, not so good. But he just doesn't have a lot of items. Just has, uh, yeah, the basic item that you started with, an item that he bought. Two, uh, two all right items. Spies a orc as well. Now I got his boots. What do we have here for items? Oh, look at this death knight. He just got a mana stone. That's pretty important here. And there's the lich. And there's the Naga. Naga has a ring of protection as well. This bear goes down pretty fast. The bear goes down. He's dead. One ghoul almost uh, went down to half hit points. Or actually, it went down to half hit points. 160 hit points only on this ghoul. Team Hunter has to go home. He has a fate here of doing that army. What is this? This is a tree of life. Tree of life. For Jack. Demon Hunter uh, killing some wisps. Not the Demon Hunter, the Death Knight. There's a mana bird on the Death Knight. He always has a mana stone if he really needs a mana. Where is the rest of Jack's army? Two drives, four archers, a bear. Oh, he's trying to pick up the statue, but instead uh, the, he, he's getting new. The Naga was in a bad position, but Naga has boots of speed, she's safe. The statue goes down, the Naga is stopped out. We still have the split between this army. This bear here is going down fast the, to the destroyer, to the lich, to the everything. Something really d dead here. This uh, ghoul can die in any uh, in one shot from anything. The Naga for uh, TCB B TBCBM uses a greater healing potion, so she's back to uh, or a smaller one maybe. So she's back to uh, full health. The Lich gets a coil and a mana burn. The Lich Lich might be in trouble here. Doesn't have anything else to save the Lich, so the Lich just went down. Human Hunter just does too much damage. Kills another fiend. And uh, yeah, still pretty equal in supply here, but we have this expansion now. Oh, was it cancelled? Was that expansion cancelled? The Tree of Life for check. I think so. Must have been. Probably needed the uh, money to hold off this attack. Do you know what groups are played today? I do know that. It's um, group A, C and F. The other groups are already decided. Unfortunately, I still don't know like how these groups work. I wonder if Czech knows. I mean, Czech is playing in this tournament. He probably knows. I wonder if he has a grid command in his channel. With more detailed grid. Death Knight cool screaming over here while meanwhile uh, the demon is screaming over here. A player's forces are under attack. What item? He didn't get any items yet. What item did the demon to get here? 
Oh, Sobi Mass for the Naga. And uh, found a different link, but in Korea, the Korean link doesn't have much information either. Seems we're just uh, lacking information about the grid, about the groups. Could you tell us who made it? Oh, in the other groups? Yeah, I can. Uh, but let me first... Uh, that's this game. Okay. Uh, because we have a fight here. Medallion of Courage here on the Death Knight. Plus four strength, plus four intelligence. This ghoul does go down. Medallion of Courage. Uh, not not too big of a fan of the item. But the Lich died earlier, so the extra strength is apparently useful. Extra intelligence, of course, always useful on the Lich. Means extra damage, extra force, no boss, extra everything. Is this Tree of Life up yet? Not yet. It's so late because it got uh, he cancelled it earlier. There's a level three Naga, level three Death Knight, level two Lich. Here we have a level four Demon Hunter and level. Where's the Naga? Level three Naga. TP out here for TP CBM. This this fiend. The build fall. No, TP is out here with uh, 42 hit points. The bears are zero zero. The fiends are. Zero, zero. Oh, there's a first frost worm. Do we have hippos? Of course not. There's an angel of wind. He is planning to go hippos. Usually the hippos are very late. Or, well, so often they don't go hippos at all if they're just on one base. So both players got a medallion of courage. So it's pretty equal. Equal items. We have one on the ditch, and here we have one on the Demon Hunter. I wonder if he keeps it on the Demon Hunter or he's going to give it to the Naga. Here we got uh, what item did he just get over here? Also, Sobi Mask. Both players have a Sobi Mask as well. Here we have it on the Naga. Here we have it on the Death Knight. Oh, wait, did it? Didn't he already have it? Yeah, I think so. He already had it from a long time ago, right? No, no, he had a mana stone before. No, yeah, he did just get the Sobi mask to replace the mana stone. Because he used the mana stone earlier. This fiend. There are no hit points. Bear uh, is dying fast. Does he have staff? He does have a staff. Mana burn is a death knight with a beautiful mana burn. This is a fiend here in the front. It's going down fast, but he gets a coil. Uh, the Frost Worm even attacking the Death Knight, a uh, Death Demon Hunter. He really wants to get rid of him or, or at least damage. But I feel like the Frost Worm should have been attacking this bear. Look at how much bear damage this bear does now. But the Demon Hunter gets nuked and he has to retreat here. Do we have staff on Naga? We don't. Don't have staff on Naga. This Demon Hunter gives the staff to the Naga, but it's still cooldown. Demon Hunter dies. Not looking too good here for check. He's gonna get his, uh, the Tree of Life cancelled again. And we see 41 supply for Jack, 59 here for uh, TBCBM. And that's just what happens when we play Night Elf versus Undead without any expansions. It's Night Elf just slowly falls apart. I just needed that expansion up a ball ago. Where is that uh, Demon Hunter? He's even losing units to creeps. An archer went down to creep. Uh, not the archer, Dryad. The Dryad went down to creeps. That's that's pretty bad. That's really bad. Maybe Jack also just woke up, just like me. Although it is uh, a bit later there for Jack lives, but I don't know. The Naga does have some nice items, but he lost another bear. The Naga now trouble. Revise the Demon Hunter. Uh, has to use I don't know. Gave an item to the Naga, but I. Great, GG. Here's game two, by the way. So, uh, in the orange, we have check. In the blue, we have TBCBM. He's 1 0 up. TBC TBCBM is 1 0 up over check. So, uh, let's see how this game goes. <laughs> America slash Europe. Yeah, yeah, of course. And uh, pretty much all the non Asia, right? Peru. Peru apparently also has some good players. We have a ghoul, we have Death Knight. 
No early graveyard yet. Nice. What do we have here? We have a demon hunter. Archer, micro here, uh, Archer uh, with the lightning shield standing not in the correct position. Like this guy didn't take all the damage of the lightning shield. I wonder if they were standing too far apart from each other, but I don't think so. I think Archer could have stood maybe an a inch more uh, north and then maybe lightning shield would hit all those three units. But that's a pretty big mistake here for, uh, for Jack, not even creeping this correctly. So maybe, maybe he is still tired. Maybe it's still too early. Of course he played, uh, what did he play yesterday? After GCS, he also played some other tournament. I'm not sure, did he play in Anna Cup? I'm not sure if Jack was playing in Anna Cup. But um, maybe he stayed up pretty late. Yeah, there's a nice mana burn on the Death Knight. Death Knight does have a lot of mana though, with the Mantle of Intelligence. That's a great item for the Lich later. Nice around there on the de uh, Death... Uh, not the Death Knight, the Demon Hunter, but the Death Knight... Is it going to fall f first? Just the one Demon Hunter and one Archer does more damage than the Death Knight and... Three Ghouls and three Skeletons against the Demon Hunter. Demon Hunter is just too strong. Of course he has the Ring of Protection, of course he had the Evasion there. Well, the Death Knight only has uh, Unholy Aura. Continues creeping over here. By the way, is that background in the uh, is background sound very annoying? I could maybe uh, fix it a little bit. Did you want to kill that ghoul? Doubt it is because it's not very. It's not that annoying to me. But probably it's fine for you guys as well. The death knight is going to creep over here, or is he going for this one? No. Go for this one. Another mantle of intelligence would be nice. Demon Hunter, let's see what he's buying here. Boost of speed. I'm not sure what background sound you mean. Oh. I can't hear it. I guess only Mike can hear it then. How is that possible? <laughs> How come only Mike hears it? Anyway. Uh, nice mana burn there on the Death Knight. Another mana burn. So the Death Knight is out of, ma uh, out of mana. Well, uh, yeah, the Demon Hunter does have boost of speed, of course. So for the rest of the game, he can be annoying. He can mana burn all these heroes, all these Death Knights, all these Liches, all these Nagas, as much as he wants. Maybe Tinkers as well. Maybe we'll see Tinker. We'll see. Uh, I haven't seen TBCBM uh, play with Tinker much against Night Elf. Of course, when we watch Happy Play, he goes Tinker against Night of all the, t all the time. Death Knight is by level 2 now, by the way. Here comes the Demon Hunter again. It's gonna get coiled. It's gonna get coiled in the face. No, he mana burns him in the face. Without getting coiled. Death Knight picks up a Tome of Intelligence. He's getting smarter. 23 IQ. But he's, uh, he doesn't have much hit points. 23 IQ is useless if you're dead, so be careful, Mr. Death Knight. Uh, the Lich is being summoned. What is Which Death Knight do we have here? Baron Morte, the French Death Knight. Meanwhile, we have a uh, Terror Blade here and the Naga, Vena Seastorm. And gives a boost to the, to the Naga. Oh, he's playing Naga second, not Panda. So, guess that makes sense. Here come the ghouls, we have seven ghouls against only three archers and we have some skeletons as well. These archers in trouble, uh, the ghouls are being microed out very nicely. The archers are still alive as well, but one, one ghoul might fall here. This ghoul is being slowed by the naga with the boots, no more coil. Is he gonna kill it himself though? No, he tried to block the demon hunter but uh, the ghoul went down. He has to use the healing potion there. So far the naga doing quite well, doing a lot of damage. This ghoul, what is this ghoul doing? Well, it, uh, it died. So two ghouls dead so far. Where's the lich? There's a lich and the demon hunter goes down. 
Did he, uh, I forgot if he still had any items on the Demon Hunter to save himself. But he knew the Lich was coming there, so... I, I don't know what to say, like... I knew the Lich was coming, I was waiting for the Lich. But I assumed he, uh, he had some stuff somewhere, maybe... To save the Demon Hunter, but I guess not. I feel there was a mistake there by, by what's his name, Check. Very big mistake. Slaughterhouse going up. Uh, more fiends being summoned here. Or the first one, the first one, or trained, I should say. You train, or do you train them? Are fiends trained, or are they born? I don't feel like you train fiends. Oh, train. Okay. Guess someone. There's some uh, a fiend trainer that teaches fiends like, okay, this is how it is to live in the world. It's a dangerous place out there. You need to summon those little fiends and send them to your enemies. Those little, uh, guess you don't call them fiends, the little spiders. Like these little spiders. Little guys. So scary. A player's forces are under attack. Lich is buying an orb here, of course. Lich does have that mantle of intelligence now. It was a present from the Death Knight. He's very happy with it. It suits him very well. Buys an orb of corruption. This Lich now is so strong already. There's a nice uh, fort lining though. Level 1. These schools are so low now. Cannot use them anymore. Send them home. Uh, maybe. Pull these two girls, uh, <laughs> girls. Did I just call them girls? Pull, the, pull these two girls. <laughs> we should call them girls. You know, we have some girls over here. Oh, nice first nova on these archers, and this other one get staffed out, archer. Thanks. Thanks. What did I think? Well, probably uh, I thought. Uh, thanked the naga for saving the archer. Def the demon did have a TP, by the way. I don't think he had that healing potion earlier. Hey. Why does this I found a I found a bug. Or I'm not sure if you can call it a bug, but I found something that triggers me. Look at this icon here. Look at this tree icon, the lumber icon. Why does that have like a little brown box or shadow of a brown box here on the bottom and the left? What are these uh, brown lines here? Well, the other icons don't have it, so kind of looks looks like it wasn't intentional to me. That really triggers me. That's so annoying. Do we see the same here for the dead buildings? Yeah. Wow. Anyway, we have another uh, engagement here. He starts out the demon hunter. And here are the bears. There's a master bear. There's regeneration. The demon hunter just uh, surrounded, but he doesn't care. He has a healing potion. Oh, but there's a dispel on the regeneration, and he TP's out. So yeah, I think I guess he did care. Uh, the dried went down. This ghoul. Right? There it goes down. Most of the moons are out of moon juice. We have uh, two moons still up. This bear is he going to die? The lich is so much damage. This is insane, man. The lich is too much damage. And uh, the Naga here being focused. Oh, this Naga gives a t info potion to the Naga. And she's alive for now. The Demon Hunter being focused. The school goes down. Demon Hunter level 3. Killing this destroyer. What is this destroyer doing? It came back just to kill this bear. But it had to sacrifice nothing. Only a bit of hit points. I thought he was going to die. But uh, this dried went down. And uh, do we have an expansion? Still no expansion here, for, of course, for a check. TPCPM is so good, at least in this matchup. <laughs> New emote, Chaco triggered. I mean, I could, I could make it. I mean, I think anything would be better than my current emote. Let's level two, definitely almost level four. Naga is out. Level 1 Naga. Sensi Ward for check. This is check Sensi Ward, so is this one. 
So Jack knows exactly what uh, what the dad is up to. He eats uh, the mana from the destroyer, and he, he's screaming over here. Well, here is the creep jack here for Jack. Here comes the demon hunter. He's going to mana burn something. He does have level 2 mana burn, of course. There's a nice mana burn on the Death Knight. He's out of mana, doesn't have mana potion or anything. But he's being blocked by the Death Knight. Beautiful Michael here by TBCBM. Who knew he was such a good player? Recently, uh, like for a while, I thought he was a good player, but then he didn't do too well. So I I favored like uh, undead players like PCG, for example. But recently, well, recently, <laughs> these two games, he's been playing really well. Maybe I should uh, change my opinion of him again. There was a nice mana burn, 76. Uh, two ghouls going down fast. This dryad is still alive. The Naga being uh, focused. The Lich in trouble has the info potion. She's fi he's fine. Use that info potion. Killing more units here, maybe. The Naga now has to be my code. A bit late on that micro there on the Naga. And some dispels. The dry is dispelling. Actually, this fight went pretty well uh, so far for Czech. He only lost the one dryad, I believe, and an archer. Well, he killed, uh, killed two ghouls, killed some fiends, killed some more ghouls, killing some more ghouls. Yeah, this fight went really well here for Czech. As you can see, we see four bodies of ghouls. We see a dead dryad, two dead dryads, and a dead archer. Now I can hear the background sound. Okay. But yeah. Maybe maybe I can close another door in between where we are right now and the background sound. It is of course a very uh, how do you say it? Very stable sound. Demon hunter here. Back to kill. Uh, what is going? On? Go for the naga. Naga has nothing to save. Okay. Did have something to save him, but Naga does will fall here, and Czech is looking very good here. When is he building the expansion? Okay, not if he loses his Naga. Okay, use the item to save the Naga. He uh, gives an info potion to the Naga, but the Naga dies anyway. But still, I think Czech. Uh, I'm not sure actually. Now that the Naga is dead, uh, of course these uh, heroes for undead they can pick up as many drives as they want. So Czech has to retreat here, of course. Also, they're fighting next to the undead base. That's not why you should fight this uh, dryad. My, is my code back? The, the, the Lich now in trouble. Where's the Death Knight? He doesn't have mana for a healing uh, coil thing. But the, uh, the Lich was in the range of the, the Black Citadel, so... It would be safe anyway. This, this Fiend will fall, though. A lot of Fiends fell there. 36 supply for here for TBCBM. 40 here for Jack. So let's look at the bodies for a second here. We see one dead bear and we see three dead fiends. And of course the Naga died there for uh, for check as well and for both players of course. But the Naga was higher level I believe for check. We have level 2 Naga for that for TPCBM. The Naga for check was level 3. Here we have uh, a creep check again. He just wants his item. Maybe TP out. Belt of Giant Strength. Okay. Uh, gave the TP to the the Lich, trying to hunt down this this uh, this uh, Dryad. He does get the Dryad. Demon Hunter level four, continues creeping over here. Oh, there's a Tree of Life. I was wondering where and when and why. Where's the expansion? These frogs just uh, playing over here. They are having fun. We have a stack over here. Some people think that the best thing about Worker 3 are, are these critters on the map. It just uh, makes it all feel so real, so alive. Like It's almost more real than the real world, right? Like when do you see a frog in the real world? Well, in Worker 3, we see some every day. Same with the stacks, same with the sheep, same with the chickens, same with the baby seals. So it's almost like Worker 3 is more real life than the real world. Here comes that 50 spy again, 47. Uh, 47 for uh, that, so for TBCBM. What's this statue doing? What a bad placement to put your statue. Anyway, the 
bear gets stuffed out the one destroyers Michael back this uh Finn gets a nice coil that's the last coil until he uses the mana potion uh Naga being focused a lich as an info potion so he's fine use that info potion what's he focusing next uh killing more dryas killing more everything I guess well the Naga now oh the Naga dies to mana burn she uh had to use that uh for lightning save herself but she didn't well she would have died anyway but she would have lived a few seconds longer and she would have cast it for lightning no it's not going very well here for uh, tpcbm i guess does he have a tp he doesn't have a tp he's just gonna lose the game right here and uh well he might stay in the game because he isn't dead and that players they just like to stay in the game hide in their base get the army back up and maybe win the game later with the comeback but i'm not sure if that's going to happen this game Check is down so far. I had night nice fly up. He's gonna build his expansion. We don't have frost worms anytime soon. Uh, not even sacrificial pit. Gives a nice coil to the destroyer. He's hiding above the trees. Um. Is this is this the group final? I don't know. I wish I knew. I wish I could tell you anything. All I know is which players are in the groups and uh, then I just cast their games. It's, it is the best of three. Death Knight is almost level five. Lich is level four. Uh, not the Lich, the Naga is level four. The Demon are almost level five as well. Expansion, of course, is uh, sitting down. Does he know? Does he have? Oh, he has so many senti words, man. Check and his senti words this game. This probably will won him the game. Oh wait, these are not check senti words. Never mind. <laughs> these are TBCBM's uh, senti words. But check the senti words. Check had over here earlier. This probably will won him the game because because of those uh, senti words, he was able to creep jack TBCBM twice. it's the other way around though but there's not much of a creep jack here because check was very safe at creeping that uh demon death knight is out of mana 66 mana burn lich has uh mana for us oh but the lich is dead is he dead he's dead level 5 demon hunter now and the bears killing the the fiends gg that's a one one score now maybe uh ugri maybe if you want to know more maybe you should ask check after the game is over or you can just watch the stream see if he uh, has to play more depends of course if he wins or loses maybe if he loses he's out anyway but uh, we're gonna wait for the third game Jack is watching the replay okay so we're waiting a little bit I'll give a, a special here because all, all of you guys are asking for it a game of slither i know it's sort of a winner bracket final okay so does that mean that we still have after this some loser bracket games and then uh a final a later final as you're saying it's a winner bracket final and there's a loser bracket final as well is that being played right now we have um yumiko now this group c Okay, K vs Lucifer, is that also... We also have right now Shao KK vs Lucifer playing. Is that also a winner bracket final? Or is that a lo loser bracket final of group A? And group C we have... Um, Yumiko is playing against Noodles. I don't know who Noodles is again. Wait, what? How come we have so many players in group C who I don't know who they are? Only four players left in each group today, but no, it's a loser's bracket final. Shao KK vs. Lucifer. OP Wings is a human, right? Winner bracket is Loliath vs. another dude. Not so. What happened to Sock? We didn't see Sock play at all. Did he drop out? So, Shao KK. 
Uh, which guy, which of these guys is Xiao KK? I don't understand. We have so many Chinese guys here. Is it uh, Lolite versus this guy? Is that the winner's record final? Sok has a sickness. Oh. Hope, hopefully, it gets better soon for the next qualifier. What about Group C? Do you know anything about Group C? Because uh, I know all these players in Group C. Besides the last one, but every time we, uh, every time I see someone in Group C that I don't know who it is, so it doesn't make sense. Maybe they're all playing on the Chinese, aka. Maybe Ray. Maybe Ray's playing on the Chinese, aka. No, maybe not because he's. Uh, we haven't seen any Nidos. OP Wings is, uh, well, I don't know. Anyway, is the next game up? Lin in the winner's bracket final, Yumiko's lower bracket. But right now we also have another game up, which is uh, two players with Chinese names. I don't know which group they are. But if it's not group A, if not group C, it, it has to be then the loser's bracket final of group F, I guess. Check, is your game up yet? Check. Wait, what? Did we miss one of Check's games? That can't, that can't be right. Did check already uh, win? Let me just check uh, check stream real fast. Maybe we missed one of the games, which would be weird. I don't think we missed any. No, check is playing. Guess it's just a bug then in the in the um, how do you call it in Netties. Sometimes, like, my follower list doesn't update correctly. Still waiting for check. While we're waiting, maybe we'll eat a snake. Snake. Got him. Nom, 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 nom. That was tasty. Let's see if we can get some more snakes. Nom, 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 nom. That was so risky by this yellow snake. Let's see if he takes another risk like that. Yellow snake. Ooh, a lot of snakes here. Let's eat a, a very delicious one. Look at this guy. Going through. Go over here. Go over here. <laughs> Uh oh, are we surrounded by the big yellow uh, snake? No. Yes. Are we? Well, it doesn't matter because I died to the green snake anyway. Uh, and the game is up. And here we have game three between TBCBM and Czech. This is TBCBM in the blue here. Czech here in the teal. Team Hunter first again. Wonder if he's going Naga again. Sending out a wisp. Is it the scouting wisp? What is he doing with this wisp? Well, he's, he's creeping over here. The Ancient of War didn't eat anything. Don't think so. Guess he doesn't need to eat anything yet. He's just repairing it with a wisp. 
uh, with a demon out there, getting this no overseer should be an easy, easy task here. Or check. Gets a circle of nobility. That's the best item against him, Dad, by far. Much better than a close of deck. Although we do, did know this from the other games, the TBCBM doesn't really focus the Demon Hunter much. Let's the Demon Hunter live for very long. So if you get um, damage items on the Demon Hunter, it's fine, I guess, against TBCBM. But maybe in different si situations, he will focus the Demon Hunter more. Uh, four girls here, skeletons. Demon Hunter. Oh, gets a detonate on the skeletons. Gets level two. That is perfect. And these creeps. They're both at half health. There wasn't uh, the best way for uh, for TBCBM to creep this. I wonder if the Demon Hunter can actually steal something. Not this one. The ghouls just hiding here behind the trees. <laughs> look, oh, look how afraid they are of the Demon Hunter. But the archer, she can shoot through the trees. She has uh, years of practice, of course. Especially, especially for this situation. So she can hit 100% of her targets. Even when they're behind trees. Even when they're behind cover. And uh, nicely done here by TC TBCBM. Didn't lose a ghoul. Didn't lose any of the creeps to the Demon Hunter. Remember, Demon Hunter still has mana burn. He can always kill this with a mana burn. If he can get there in time. Uh, maybe. Oh, mana burn was too early. By the way, he did have coil either. So he couldn't kill it with a coil. There's a nice close of attack. And that's a really nice item here for the Death Knight. Or not for the Death Knight. But for the Lich later. And that's the that's just what you want as and that as TBCBM. You want the items for the Lich. You don't care too much about the items for the Death Knight. There's a graveyard. Interesting placement. Could be cancelled. I wonder if uh, TBCBM does this more often. If he does, uh, their opponents should probably abuse this fact that he always. Or always. Then he builds this uh, graveyard outside of his base that can be cancelled. Uh, the demon hunter hunting down the death knight. He does have boots. He did buy the boots. The archers have to retreat though. Is there a Nerubian tower? There's none, no Nerubian tower. The death knight is going to die. I think he should have just walked into his base and tried to block uh, the demon hunter with cools. But instead he chose death. Uh, he can't kill himself. Oh level 2! That might save him. He got Where did he get level 2 from? From the null. The null? Where's the item? Oh, it's a no Warden, I guess. Yeah, it's a no Warden. Level 2, uh, of course. 10% movement speed bonus, which is uh, 320 plus 10% is 32. Is that right? So that means he has a movement speed now of uh, 352. Well, the boost of speed apparently gives 60 bonus. So he has a movement speed of 380. So Demon Hunter does walk faster than the Death Knight. But not fast enough really to kill him. Graveyard is up the Death Knight. Gonna hunt something down. Uh, the Null went to the Demon Hunter, right? Yeah, another circlet. That's so nice. That's so lucky here for check. Two circlets already for this uh, Demon Hunter and didn't buy any of them. Double Ancient of Lords going up. Still tier 2 here. Okay, so check. What is he gonna creep? Is he going for this uh, creep camp? Is he gonna be creep check? Or is uh, TC TBCBM going for this creep camp? Oh, by the way, sorry I missed that. Hey, uh, Maxcellent, welcome back to the stream. Death Knight creeping over here. Coil here on the ghoul. He's being focused, but. He relieves the tension by, by uh, attacking probably a different hero or a different unit. He's going home. This, these two ghouls probably also want to go home. There's nothing left for them to do here. They have uh, 75 and 68 hit points. He scouts here with the skeletons. She's the Angel of Wonders. He's just going in. Oh no, he did send those ghouls home. What item did Jack get? Where is Jack even? Oh, what? How did he get over here? Did he walk through the center? Uh, well, that's a nice book of the dead that he got there and all these acolytes all these ghouls in the red health They shouldn't be okay. Nice. He doesn't move them home 
but yeah, some of these acolytes are dead. More of them are dying. The statue, poor timing here for the statue. You should have probably uh, put the red point here on the right side. But here's the death knight. Maybe you can uh, save some units here. Not the statue. Statue goes down. There's uh, the lich. He is at Black Citadel. He can build more acolytes. Maybe he should be building more acolytes because I don't know how many he lost, but definitely lost a few. The Naga there TPs out. And how many skeletons are left? Just a few. We have uh, one acolyte left. This last one here, or this second last one, died. So now he's building more acolytes. And those ghouls are back home as well. You see one dead archer. I mean, one dead ghoul, like four or five dead acolytes, and of course a TP used by Jack and the Book of the Dead. Let's see what item uh, TPCBM gets over here. Needs a pretty good one to offset that uh, loss that he just got. Wait, what? He just GG's? Did I miss something? What happened at the last moment? Did Jack do something? Check in his base again or something? I don't know. What did I miss? Why did he just GG out? Uh, cafe. And the human. Which, <laughs> which group are we talking about? Let's see. I remember cafe. He was playing yesterday against who? Who was he playing against? Who was cafe playing against yesterday? And the human player also be someone played yesterday. Which group could this be? I don't remember these players. There are two unknown players. They uh, this is not their first game, but I don't know the score. We have a blade master here for Cafe. Oh uh, wait, wait. Cafe was playing Org Mirror yesterday, right? I remember that. But who was it against? Let me just quickly check my uh, my VOD, my VOD from yesterday, because I still have it uh, on my computer here, so it should be easy. Hi to Chaco. That's my my YouTube. Hi to Jaco. Uh, oh, Cafe played yesterday against some guy, some Chinese name guy as well. Yes, that's all we know. Yeah. Okay, well, the Blade Master hunting down the Archmage. Does he have boots? He does have boots of speed. Uh, Lich was dead and his mining slowed down. No, no, I think, yeah, I don't think he lost his Lich. And he was only two supply behind. I mean, he was definitely behind, but not that far. I mean, he lost a lot of acolytes. That was about it. Anyway, this Archmage uh, in trouble. Does he have a staff? He does buy the staff and boots as, as well. So the Archmage is fine here. We have Tojara, the Blade Master, for or for Cafe. Maybe let me just ask like, which group is this? Group are these players from? Okay, I've news. Okay, I'm I'm excited. To agree. What news? <laughs> We're listening. You know, the Archmage, uh, you have double Arcane Sanctum. What the second hero? I don't know yet. For Orc, of course, we do see the Shadow Hunter. The light in the winner, winner the light in the finals versus the winner of Lucifer versus another in that. Okay. And that other in that is. Wait, is that someone that's. We're under attack. Oh, by the way, is this also Group A? This might be Group A. The name of this player. Actually, no, that can't be right then. This cannot be group A. Yumiko in the finals versus Lin. Okay, we might want to watch that game after this. If, uh, if it's going live after this. Blade Master though, what's the Blade Master doing? Blade Master just dies. 
was too greedy and he pays with his life. What second hero do we have here? Mount King. Great. The Blade Nash was still level one, right? Okay, look how fast oh level two, never mind. Level two. Level two Jojo Headshanker as well. Check in the final versus winner of TBC BM versus not a undead. So what are we watching right now? What are we watching right now? If uh, those are all the finals, it doesn't make sense. The game we're watching right now doesn't have either TB, TBCBM in it, doesn't have Lucifer versus in it, doesn't have uh, Yumiko or Lin in it. I would say those intels are 51% accurate. <laughs> okay. I don't understand, man. I wish we had... Uh, yeah, a bit more information about uh, uh, like these exact brackets. We have a replenishment potion. I mean, don't they have like a grid or something up for the for the Chinese streams for the Chinese players? Probably the Lin Yumiko group then. Oh wait, I asked them which group it was. Let's see if someone answered me. Um, no. No grid, no, just a key, key group where they talk. Archman is level 3, Mountain King is level 2. Sajaro is level 2. Jojo Hatchink is level 3 though. Uh, we have one close of attack here on Tojara. Items in general are just a bit better here for human. Here's the fight. This footman is going down fast, even to level 2 to Tojara. Level 1 critical strike does do a pretty good job here. Mountain King uh, fighting against that Raider. Raider runs away. Now the Blade Master killing more footmen. Already two footmen dead. But the Raider is being focused on by the footman. Raider does go down. What are these footmen going for? For the oh, for the for the spirit walker who was blocked in by the berserker. Then a storm bolt on his face. The uh, spirit uh, walker goes down. The spellbreaker goes down as well. Even though he was not ensnared, there was probably a bit of a miss micro. This grunt here going down. This spellbreaker dying, of course, because he is ensnared, and he's even dying to the peons. They do so much damage to this uh, spellbreaker, and the uh, blade Nash helping a little bit as well. Uh, this grunt here. Goes uh, down as well. It gives the mana potion to the shadow hunter, of course, for more mana, for more healing. This priest dies as well. There's a speed school. We still have one more instead available here. 40 supply again, 40 supply. There's our water elemental. And there's a nice instead here on the sorceress. Can he kill the sorceress? He wants to kill the sorceress, maybe, with the peons. Okay, there's a TP. A TP out for the human player. Tojara is so close to level 3. In this case, you probably get level 2 critical strike. You don't pick level 2 wind walk. There's not that much to harass anymore. Even if you harass uh, the Mount King already so close to level 3. He's probably level 3 by the time you harass. And then you go just get storm bolted and killed. Uh, dusted, of course. And so instead, you want to uh, pick the level 2 critical strike. BM2 owning the human army. I guess you don't need the strong blade master to own the human army. Just a level two is fine now, uh, good enough. What what's more important in this matchup is the level three shadow hunter with uh, mana, plenty of mana for the healing wave. Because as long as you have a level two shadow hunter, it's so difficult here um, for the human player to kill anything. And a blade master, even if he does a little bit of damage, he will uh, he will eventually kill the units with the ensnare one for one. Almost level 4 here on the Shadow Hunter. Tojara finally level 3. 2 claws of attack, but 1 is plus 9, so plus 15 damage. He picked level 2 Windhawk, please. Why? Why? He's never gonna get level 2 Critical Strike this game. Never. He will never creep enough to get a level 4 Demon uh, Blade Master. I don't understand. No creeps left, there's only these two guys. There's no harassment left to be done. Oh, there's still this creep camp. Maybe if we can steal the creep somehow. And snare is most important to give free kills. Well, and snare is also important, yeah, but. Sure. Yeah. 
Orc needs the ensnare and the healing wave. Uh, needs both. If it is, if it misses either, right? If it misses the healing wave, uh, orc starts using, losing units. If it if it misses the ensnares, if it, it loses all its raiders, it cannot kill anything of the human anymore. It's the uh, but if orc has ensnare and healing wave, that means he won't lose any units, while he can actually kill units. Well, he will still lose a unit here and there to the Mountain King, of course. Stormbolt is a lot of DPS, sometimes more than the Shadowhunter can heal. Well. I think Lumen, <laughs> you call in has started. 51% sure. 51%. That's like such a low number, man. If I told someone, yeah, I'm. 51% sure that this is healthy for you. Would I eat it? I don't think so. Level 4 Shadowhunter, level 3 Blademaster. Mount King almost level 4. Let me just... Uh... Oh yeah. Well, I'm 100% uh, I'm sure, Ugri, that, that it has started. Yumiko vs. Lin has started. Hopefully this game ends soon then. I'm not just going to jump out of this game because I know some of you want to see the end of this game. We've seen uh, most of the, we, we pushed through most of this game. We want to see the end. In fact, it's going to end right now anyway. We have 64 supply in 49. And Mountain King comes out of invisibility. Look at these items, by the way, on the Mountain King. A lot of regeneration and a lot of attack speed. This is actually really good, by the way, on the Mountain King. Because first of all, it's almost level 4, which means he will have 30% chance to bash. With a very high attack speed, he can just stun lock the Blade Master. If he stun locks the Blade Master, there's no more DPS in the army for Orc, meaning that he will never lose a unit. A uh, human player will never lose a unit because there's no DPS without the Blade Master. Uh, he used the Info Potion, so the Blade Master gets some attacks in. Okay, maybe now attack that Blade Master. Burn the Mr. Mountain King, attack the Blade Master. Get that stun in on the Blade Master. Okay, maybe kill the Raider first. Sure, never mind. Don't listen to me. Kill the Raider first. Now get some stuns on the Blade Master. But now he took too much damage from the Blade Master, so I guess he cannot. Uh, the Kodo eats a nice spellbreaker. Okay. Get those stuns, get the stun. He missed the stun. He, If he got the stun there, the Blade Master would have been dead. The Bash, of course. Uh, we have uh, Burrows, by the way. They were able to snipe a few sources here on the left, but now all the units are out of range. His radio goes down. There's another Stormbolt on the Blade Master, and he doesn't even need the Bash. He just kills him anyway. And, uh, well, the Kodo did just devour a peasant. So he can eat something again, but there it is, GG, this human player beat this, beat Cafe, but now we have Yumiko versus Lin. Which is a much more exciting game. This is, uh, what was it, the winner, is it like the final or just a winner break final? Best of three. Like, is it the final finals of the group? For the winner bracket finals. Work too greedy with upkeep. Oh, did he have a lot of gold? I didn't. Uh, I didn't pay attention to that. But maybe uh, you're right. If he was hoarding up gold, it was way too greedy there. He and human already had 64 supply of army. Jubei here, level 1 Blade Master. Two circlets already in close of attack. I'm sure he bought at least one of the circlets. Maybe both of them. Let's see. Well, I think he only bought one of the circlets. Probably got the circlet over here. And maybe close of attack from... Wait, from where? From here? Well, the Archmage got a circlet from over here. Got a nice Cloak of Shadows from uh, over here. And bought Boots of Speed. So the Archmage level 2, the Blade Master will get level 2, killing the Fortal, Forestal High Priest. Of course, he wants these uh, Senti Wards. Senti Wards is so imbalanced, man. Senti Wards win you the game. Uh, he's building more grunts here. The Archmage, what is he can he do here? What is he doing here? Where are his footmen? There's a, a Cane Vault getting more Arcane Sanctum. Blade Master, get Senti Wards. This game is over. Blade Master won the game. Should be the finals, but who knows? <laughs> Could be the finals 51% of the time. There's the first sentry ward. Is he gonna place the second one over here? Maybe. No, he places it over here. 
doesn't bother to walk all the way up this hill to place it over here. Or maybe over here would be better, but sure. Place this over there. Author of Storms uh, is, is summoning a Shadowhunter. Archimedes has Boots of Speed. We have double Arcane Sanctums going up. We have the Mountain King almost up. Blade Master starts screaming over here, but the Archmage sees it. Or did he see it? He, uh, yeah, he did see it. <laughs> Can he hunt down that uh, level 5 Ogre before the Blade Master gets it? Does he have dust? He does have dust. The Blade Master does get the kill and the item. Greater Potion of Healing is decent against Human. Against Human, it's really yeah, quite good. I think uh, it's second best. Of course you want, or maybe third best, or second best, I'm not sure, like you want the greater mana potion, that's the best item there in this matchup. Uh, I wonder if want of mana stealing, if that's actually better than a potion of greater healing. Even though uh, I know I don't like want of mana stealing too much, but in this matchup just the mana on your shadow hunter is so important. Uh, that any mana item is just so good, and what do we have here, mana stone, that's by far the best item he could have gotten here. And Blade Master is killing this. What is this Murloc doing here? Wait, what happened over here? What? The Murloc just uh, stared at Footman. Walked around. Jubei, almost level 3 here. Uh, Shakti Lar, the Shadowhunter, almost level 2. Hey Chaco, how have you been? Hey Neutron, I've been great. Especially because... Uh, no, I just slept. For a nice six and a half hours. I love sleeping, man. Okay, Lin, he has the sentry ward here, so he does see that uh, the Jumiko starts creeping over here. And he, see if he gets another nice item here, he shows Jumiko, hey, I'm here. I'm here, Jumiko. Why don't you continue creeping? <laughs> Jumiko doesn't go for it. Oh, we have a one man. Oh, did he steal the Ogre Magi already? No, wait, what? Uh, ogre. Oh, of course not. Um, one of mana stealing. He got, of course, from over here. What am I saying? Am I drunk? Am I drunk on protein powder? There's a dust. How does this qualifier work? Uh, it works. Uh, we have uh, groups, six groups in the groups. There are like brackets with a loser's bracket, winner bracket. Unfortunately, we don't know the brackets. And uh, so we just cast the games that we find. Blade Master gets a nice Sentry Wars. More Sentry Wars. This is so insane, man. This is insane. Lin is getting the best items. He has two circlets. He got one. He, he got the Claws of Deck. That's two very good items. Then he gets uh, Sentry Wars twice. Of course, the Great Healing Potion wasn't the best, but it's still decent. I guess any any item there would have been decent. But um, Shadow Hunter gets another Claws of Deck. Mana Stone. Very nice items. He could have gotten maybe Slippers of Agility. Or a mantle of intelligence. This item is kind of subpar. He's probably gonna sell it the mo the next uh, chance he get. Meanwhile, over here we have some shitty shitty items. Eating words might be useful actually. Boots of Quality last like it's a very nice item for the demon uh, for the blade master or demon hunter. But mountain king, yeah, you probably sell it. What are the hero levels like? Level three archmage, almost level three mountain king, level three jubei and. Level 3 uh, Shadowhunter. And again, very nice item here for the Shadowhunter. And this is not only very nice, it's very, very nice. Because uh, with the Mana Stone, it doesn't only stack, it like double stacks. Like they they synergize with each other. Like the X uh, Intelligence gives a higher uh, Mana Regeneration Rate. Which means that the higher Regeneration Rate is then increased by 25%. I'm pretty sure. I've never actually uh, tested this. I don't think it's the other way around, right? It's not like we pick the base 22 intelligence, increase that by 25% mana regeneration, and then on top of that, extra six intelligence. I'm like 99.98% sure that that's not how it works. They would never program it like that. So I'm pretty sure they stack on top of each other. Uh, right, so first he gets the intelligence, then on top of that, gets extra mana regeneration. Whose sentry word is this? Lin's, of course. Lin got so many sentry words. He knows what's happening on this map. We might as well just watch from Lin's point of view. He sees the entire map anyway. He has a sentry word over here as well. Anyway, we have a fight here. One well, footman went down, of course, as always. 
uh, in the start of the fight. The Spellbreakers is getting cut to pieces by the Blade Master with level 1 Critical Strike. And level 2 Windwalk. The Mountain King uh, throws a Stormbolt on the Grunt, but the Healing Wave saves the Grunt. He still has this close of attack on the Shadow Hunter. Never got the, any chance to give it to the Blade Master. So the Blade Master. Well, it doesn't matter too much. He only has level 1 critical strike anyway. Uh, the, what were the militia thinking? Going for the grunt there, fighting next to the spirit walkers. They should have killed the raider maybe on the left side, in fact. That was really bad play there by Yumiko. Sending all his militia to die there. Uh, instead of just having them kill the raider. But uh, actually, it's going uh, pretty well here still for Yumiko. Kills another grunt. What does Lin have left? No more raiders, so he cannot kill anything. Let's see, uh, let's see if this blade master do anything. Like, he cannot do anything. And this is exactly what one of my viewers was talking about earlier. Without Raiders, you don't get any kills. It's not like Raiders give you free kills. Well, I mean, they do give you the kills. But without the Raiders, you don't get a single kill. Uh, Blade Master going now for this Spellbreaker. But meanwhile, he's losing a Grunt. Really needs to kill this Raider again. He's going for it. Uh, there. Oh, can he get a kill before he gets another stare off? That would be crucial here for Human Call. He does kill that Raider. So he won't lose a single unit here for a while. Actually, maybe with a... Mm, I don't know. With a what? Oh, he did give the close of attack to the Blade Master during the fight. Oh, this spell... Uh, this the guy does get invisible. Uh, the Healing Ward does get killed there or cancelled or something. Yumiko, 52 supply. 47 here for Mr. Uh, Lin. Another sp uh, Raider comes in with the Ensnare. Blade Master. Oh, gets Stormbolt just as he was about to crit. It's, uh, that was such a fortunate Stormbolt, and the Blade Master is just going to die, he's surrounded by a peasant, so I guess he's not going to die, he just kills the peasant. That's a solution I didn't see, but the Blade Master is smarter than me, so apparently I have less than 26 IQ, the Blade Master has 26 IQ, I have lower than that. Uh, this Grunt is getting killed here, does go down, he bashed as well, oh, we have a Raider again, so this Spellbreaker will eventually fall, but there's just no more Grunts, it's just the Peons and the Blade Master. Uh, this guy, this sorcerer should have been my code. Why was this sorcerer not my code? I guess he didn't realize it was being targeted because it was like standing like on the same spot as the spellbreaker. So both the sorcerers and the spellbreaker died. This peon though, he ha he could have had a better life, but unfortunately it does go down. The mountain king almost level four. Hey hey hey, rebel special. Maybe he's cheating, having a third party software around to give him good items. Yeah, maybe he has like, uh, what was it? What gives you good luck? Some kind of uh, rabbit paw? I don't really believe in rabbit paws, but... Maybe... Lady Luck. Maybe his girlfriend or wife, I forgot if Lynn is married or not. Maybe she brings him luck, and that would be unfair if she was around. Uh, maybe she uses clarity. Yeah, there's that clarity. 49 supply for Lin. Uh, Yumiko, 56. By the way, last time they faced each other, I believe Yumiko won 2 and 0. Uh, I mean, the other way around. Lin won 2 and 0, right? Yesterday. Wait, did they play yesterday? I'm pretty sure they played yesterday. And Lin won 2 and 0. Just double, double check this group. Must be the case. Blade Master going for this Berserker. Berserker gets invisibility and Mike without the Bokodo eats another Spellbreaker. This Spellbreaker here dies to the Blade Master. Even though it wasn't ensnared, but it was a kind of bad positioning. Uh, this Spellbreaker goes down. The Raider here was about to snare, ensnare. Does ensnare the Spellbreaker, but he falls himself. The Water Elemental gets killed here. Can the Blade Master. Uh, Blade Master level 4, by the way, so he does have level 2 critical strike. He can win the game now. Uh, he kills the water spellbreaker. Well, still anyone's game. The Archmage level 4. So many uh, units here in the back. We have two Kodos and four Spirit Walkers, but nothing in the front. Just a Blade Master and a Grunt. The Grunt goes down. This spellbreaker should be my god. What is he doing now, Yumiko? Just throwing away the game. If he loses this game, that was because of that Spellbreaker. There's a Stormbolt on the Kodo. The Kodo still has a Spellbreaker in his stomach. On the 74 Critical Strike uh, on the Spellbreaker. He does have an Info Potion there on the Mount King. Yumiko has 11 Supply up. 
minus three, so that's eight. Uh, unless he can kill this Kodo, and then I want to say eleven again. Yeah, he kills the Kodo. Uh, this spellbreaker will fall though. In the meantime, there it goes. And uh, some more of these spellbreakers have to be micro away. Oh, 290 critical strike. I guess there was nothing he could do about that. Uh, this Berserker gets invisibility. Oh, the spellbreaker, another 204 critical strike, but this time he micro it nicely. The Kodo's hungry. Look how hungry. But the Kodo shouldn't be hungry when there's only one Kodo. It's uh, it's a new target of this. Of the, how did he kill this spellbreaker all the way over here? How did this spellbreaker die? Uh, I don't see, I didn't see anything in the, the neighborhood. In the area, all the orc armies were so far away. Or units, maybe Shadowhunter got it with the last attack. Oh, we have a level five Shadowhunter. Some uh, Lin one two to zero. That's what I thought. Now it's looking better for Yumiko. Yeah, it looks like this game is probably going to the Yumiko, but we do have a level five Shadowhunter. Level three healing wave means means the orc units will never die. We also have almost level five Jubei. Of course, uh, even though Yumiko has been winning, the orc heroes are stronger because the water elementals give so much XP. A ridiculous amount of XP. Uh, there goes a Spirit Walker, but now we have a level 5. Uh, wait, did I say Spirit Walker? Yeah, that's what they're called. Uh, there goes Sources. We do have the level 5 Archmage now. Um, at this point, it's not worth retraining to Blizzard because the Orc army is so small that the Water Elemental is just more effective than Blizzard. It won't, he doesn't have mana anymore to dispel it anyway. anyway. And uh, yeah, it's, it's more resilient to, to dispel as well, of course, because he had 900 hit points instead of 675. The Kodo is hungry. Look at the Kodo being hungry. He, but the Kodo shouldn't be hungry. Or should he? Well, there was no Stormbolt, so I guess he survives. Uh, one Spellbreaker goes down, another healing uh, thing. Shadowhunter has infinite mana, of course, next to this shop. So a human probably only can kill things with that Stormbolt. But uh, only if he has mana. Human uh, Yumiko does not have infinite mana. Oh, nice cancel there on the clarity with the Archmage. Archmage uh, a bit forward, but doesn't matter. He's in no danger. This has been like just constant fighting. Pretty interesting game. I mean, this is actually what I like a lot. This is one of the reasons this matchup I like a lot. Mountain King Stormbolt, uh, Blade Master. Can he kill the Blade Master? No way. Blade Master has a healing potion. Of course, the Shadow Hunter is still there with a the level 3 healing wave, which heals for like insane amount. 300. Uh, maybe Yumiko has to retreat here. TP or. Well, there's no hex. There's a TP. Yumiko is ahead by 70 supply, but. Oh, there goes Sources. He should, he should probably creep his uh, Mountain King to level 5. Should be easy. One creep camp. And then he has equal uh, equal level heroes. I think Mana Stone gives plus twenty percent regen bonus to the base intelligence. You think so? It just doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense to me. I just don't think they programmed it like that because they would really have to go out of their way to program it like that. Like it would make sense. Uh, do, uh, to uh, first give the plus six intelligence and then the extra mana uh, regeneration would make a lot of sense because that's just how uh, how it naturally would fit. But if they don't 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 want it to happen like that, they have to go out of the way to program it differently and be like, okay, if we have a mana stone and this oh the blade <laughs> archmage by the way almost went down three hundred twelve critical strike. Blade Master now, uh, well, the Archmage, if he can get one more lucky critical strike or anything, plus 28 damage. Never got that level 3 uh, Stormbolt, level 5 Mountain King, but I guess it's still fine, it's still good enough. As long as he doesn't lo lose the Archmage, he has an Info Potion on the Mountain King. Maybe he's gonna buy something here on the Archmage. Buys the Info Potion. Of course, uh, keeping the pressure up is fine as well, because Yumiko is over 50 supply. And Lin is under 50, so Lin gets more money. So the longer you wait, the more of an uh, the more of a comeback Lin makes. But you can offset that by creeping your Mountain King. Uh, while uh, Lin cannot get any XP anymore from creeping. But at this point, the Mountain King is so close to level five. Uh, I do agree right now. Just go for it. 13 XP. Any kill, if you can get a kill, will be level five.
Oh, well, look at these water elementals. They're hunting down uh, the flanking, the orc army. Make sure he cannot ex escape. Look, he's flanked by the left by a water elemental, by the right by a water elemental, and in the front comes the, uh, the human army with a storm wall. The Kodo goes down. That's 10% damage uh, removed from the entire orc army. Look at the blade mash. Suddenly, only plus, three, 33 da uh, plus 28 damage only. That's so little damage, even though he has level 3 critical strike. Uh, compared to the plus 33, there's a nice 332 critical strike, uh, but he goes down. Uh, healing wave was too late. Healing potion was too late because he was stunned. GG. Lindbo wins game one. Lin versus Yumiko. Blade Master sells an TP. Sells TP. Uh, got a circlet. That's very nice. That's so nice. <laughs> immortal. <laughs> yeah. I'm immortal. When I play Snake, just killing myself. Is so difficult. Uh, Argrace, by the way, got a ring of protection. Not that great of an item. Much better item here for Lin on his uh, Blade Master Mazuru. So, yeah, Lin is 1 0 behind. He has to win this game to equalize the series. Uh, we have two circles here on the Blade Master. I don't think there's any, uh, any advantage for. Coming from the winner's final, I don't know, but Lin, I think Lin came is uh, came from the winner's final and Yumiko from the losers bracket. Lin came from the winner's bracket um, because Lin beat Yumiko earlier. I'm not sure if that gives him an advantage in this um, best of three. Arkmates buy some boots. Blade Master, use some healing cells. Can the Archmage? Okay, the Archmage is creeping over here, but Grunt finds it. Be careful, Grunt. You don't want to be surrounded. But you do want to kill this footman. Attack for attack. Look at this footman. He's just taking so much damage. Archmage is level 2 now. The, the Blade Master is on his way. Also level 2 Blade Master, but the Archmage runs away. He knows the Blade Master is on his way. Okay, he comes back. He doesn't want to. Uh, I don't know. Doesn't want to leave his footman alone, maybe. This water elemental would be an easy kill for Mr. Mizuru and give him 42 mark speed. Doesn't get it. Does not get that water elemental. Instead, Yumiko kills it himself. This footman uh, in danger, maybe. But just remember, there's no boots of speed on a Blade Master. And without boots of speed, you can't really kill the footman. It it's just takes too long. It, it's too much of a, a commitment. So, this footman. Alive, this footman is going uh, over here. Blade Master cannot follow because he would lose too much to this argument to these other footmen to the water elemental that's scouting for the tier 2 buildings. I wonder if Lin just uh, does he just not play with boots of speed? Like in this type of situation, it would have been so good. I always like boots of speed against human every game. Always, no matter what. But Lin doesn't go for the boots of speed. Of course, it saves him 250 gold that he can use for other uh, other th stuff, like more grunts, like a third. Is this a third grunt or a fourth one? Shadowhunter being summoned. That's the third grunt. Uh, over here we have a Mount King out and double Arcane Sanctum. Going up. But nothing uh, out of the ordinary doesn't make sense like Yubiko won with the uh, standard play last game so might as well do it again uh, or always plays the same right besides the boots of speed what difference we see for Orc? we did see uh, Panda one game this was first Yubiko right yesterday in first Yubiko but that was because the arc match was very low on hit points here we have uh, a snare, and we have the Berserker Strength. Spirit Walkers. So very standard. Yeah, Orc doesn't really uh, do anything different ever against Human. Human is the one that can choose the different strategies here. With a different second hero, we have Mountain King second, sometimes we have Blood Mage second. Sometimes we have Beastmaster second, Fire Lord second. Of course, if you go for Beastmaster or Fire Lord, you are committed to either tower rushing or uh, expanding. 
They master still level two, only level one. Windwalk, but he might. He, oh, can he get this? Oh, where is the stronghold? I, th uh, I think the blade master got the kill now, not the item. I think the stronghold was too late. Oh, but the blade master might fall here. Oh, one more attack. Is that enough? No, he didn't have bash yet, so couldn't uh, get any lucky bashes. These sorcerers are just attacking the archmage. Not sure why. Are they fighting each other? Okay. They, uh, well, they were fighting each other, or at least our sources were fighting against the Archmage. Do you think Mazura is a good lot or one of those asshole Blade Masters? Mazura is kind of somewhere in the middle. He's, uh, no, he's he's pretty honorable, but he he, you know, he he just serves. You know, I don't know who he serves. Yes, in this guy in case, he just serves the horde. He just thinks what's best for the horde and does uh, act on it. But the thing is, what's best for the horde isn't always best for the opponents of the horde. So he's he's a good fellow if you look from uh, from the orcs' perspective. But if you look from the humans' perspective, he's he's not always a good fellow. We have a level three uh, shadow hunter here, but level two healing wave. I uh, don't like this item too much. Some people pl uh, keep it. Some people sell it. Depends on the matchup, but yeah. Buy boots and 8 click AM all game to prevent harass. Um, yeah, but the A, yeah. I mean, what? I mean, the prevent harass in the base. Don't even think you need boots for the, for that. I, th I like the boots better just to kill the footman because the Archmage, the Archmage does always get the boots as well, right? This time gave it, now we gave it to the Mount King, but the Archmage always gets boots as well, so you, it's not like you can kill the Archmage. Uh, one uh, farm went down, but he wants to get, creep to the level 3 Mount King and then probably TP home. He will kill this level 5. Uh, gets another boots of speed, double boots of speed, maybe too much uh, boots of speed there. They don't stack. Boots of speed does not stack. One of the few items that doesn't. Also, Sobi Mask, pretty good. Uh, Hellstone, very good. Uh, Gloves of Haste, nice. Give that to the Mount King. Want to get have those Gloves of Haste on the Mount King so you can bash the Blade Master, reduce the damage. Blade Master, only hero in this game that's still level 2, but Lin has 55 supply, Yumiko only 48, but Yumiko has Militia. And the Militia are so important. How we micro them, okay. Well, we have uh, actually we only have two Spirit Walkers, so the Militia are pretty strong. Uh, the Kodo eats nothing. There goes one Raider. Uh, there goes a Grunt. Uh, this doesn't look very good for Lin. I think he probably has to retreat here somewhere else, somehow. He does still have a Healing Scroll though. Uh, and he's 10 supply up, so maybe I'm wrong. I'm, there's the Healing Scroll. Do we see uh, the Kodo will fall here? Uh, some of the Militia fall. As well, though. Shadowhunter's out of mana, though. I don't think, yeah, at this point, Lin should retreat, right? Even though he's 13 supply up. Uh, in fact, I think if he retreats now, because he's 13 supply up, it would be a very nice fight. But if this game, la if, if this fight lasts too long, he's gonna lose shit. Like his Blade Master, like uh, more units. Lin should have retreated when I told him to retreat. Oh, he has a shop here. I didn't realize that. So he did have mana there for the Shadowhunter. So. He did have a reason to stay in the fight, but now 34 against 34. Remember, Lin was like, what, 13 supply ahead like two seconds ago when I told him to retreat, but he didn't. Well, he couldn't, I guess. He didn't have a speed scroll or TP. He could have bought something on the Shadowhunter, maybe. Uh, but now everything is just going to die. Maybe he can rebuy the Blade Master, Lin. Well, I mean, obviously, Yumiko cannot rebuy the Blade Master. If he could, I'm sure Yumiko would <laughs> buy the Blade Master. You work for me now. Uh, this spellbreaker, nice micro. Uh, this raider will probably fall. Well, he has one more storm ball. Doesn't want to use it on the raider. This uh, this guy went down the the sort of priest. What are we gonna see storm ball here? Is he going for the shadow hunter? He can't get it. I think. Yeah, GG and Yumiko beats Lin two to zero. Let me fix his name here for fourteen sui. Let's call him fourteen sui. Oh, we have a fight here, though. You guys can watch the fight. Tell me all what happened. Well, uh, I fix the overlay. 14 Sui is his name, right? Yeah. 
and go. There it is. Um, okay, and then best of three is what we have here. Don't know the score. Don't know if this is, is probably not the first game. That nice load, that's GG. Yeah, this is probably not the first game, but I don't know who won the first game or what's the score. I can ask, but you know, they never answer. What is the score? Maybe I shouldn't make such a complex sentence. Just score? Maybe that's how they uh, will answer me. Death Knight level two, Lich level one. Death Knight is low on hit points. GG apparently. He does have a potion of healing. Do we have anything else here? We have a statue, several statues being uh, made here. Blacksmith going up. Oh, not enough towers here. Some of these towers are going to die and uh, 14 Sui is kind of far away. Pretty now. There, the towers go down pretty fast. He goes for the arcane tower instead of the other ones. Well, I, I think he gets it in time, which is nice. Lost a little bit of uh, mana on the lich, but there's Fiend. Oh, that Fiend goes down. Coil too late. Loses the mana on the coil. It was the last coil as well. Imagine if this coil could have, this Fiend could have gotten that coil. He would be on full hit points. But instead, oh no, it's only level 1 coil. So only uh, 200 hit points. Retreat here. Mass skeletons. That's right. Well, this uh, tower is being upgraded to scout tower. Does he have masonry yet? He's getting a blacksmith. No masonry here for uh, for human, for 14 Sui. There goes that footband, this fiend being Michael back here. And there's a nice statue healing him up a little bit. I'm blocking the Archmage. The Archmage is pretty long hit points, by the way. Gets Frost Nova in the wall well, from the back. And he has to TP. No TP. He could have easily dodged that coil while it was in the air, but he didn't. This footband is uh, going down slowly. Fast, maybe. Okay, pretty fast. This statue has to be careful. Or careful, he's being hunted down by water elementals. Now these towers, what are the footmen going to do? Trying to do some damage here in the main base of uh, TCB, TC, TBCBM. These towers go down fast of course, even though there's just two fiends, that's enough to kill these towers. Is it? Is it enough? We have a lot of peasants repairing. He's gonna kill some peasants first. He could probably kill this one now if he just changes his targets. Uh, but now he kills the peasants first, which is fine. Meanwhile, we have uh, the footman over here killing Acolytes. This Acolyte is not being micro No micro on that Acolyte whatsoever, it just died. Uh, however, with the statue here and the ghouls and the fiend, these other footmen are just going to die. This doesn't look very good here for 14 Sui. Uh, more peasants dying, more, uh, more towers dying. We don't even have the destroyers yet. And there it is, GG, TBCBM wins this game. I don't know the score, but we have at least, uh, I think this is not the first game, right? So if we have a third game, it's 1-1. One, one. If we don't have a third game, it's probably 2-0. We see TBCBM, he has a Death Knight and a Claws of Attack. That's a beautiful item there for the Lich Lader or the Naga or any other hero, really. If they explode by that green thing, it's like Snake when they drop food. Okay. This uh, ghoul, very long hit points, retreat. This forest tall trapper is going to die. And now we have still level one death knight. What do we have over here? The demon hunter creeping. He gets a nice agility tome. He's so agile now. He also has a ring of protection, which is all right against him that it's all right. It's not it's still not the best. It's still not a circlet. It's still, I'm not sure if it's better than any of the damage items, but it's all right in this matchup. Because the Lich, uh, without the ring protection, the Lich just kills you so fast. It's insane. Yeah. 
thing. Hey, uh, TBCBM creeping over here in the center. Go for these, uh, these forceful berserkers. Oh, whoa, whoa, that's cool. He went down, he wasted the coil as well. It was too late to healing his uh, ghoul. Maybe now Jack has a chance. It seems like TBCBM has lost his superpowers that he had earlier when he was playing against Jack. It was insane. TBCBM was so good, but this time, different. Wait, no, last time check one actually, right? Yeah, check one, of course, when uh, two to one. Uh, the third game was so weird because TBCBM just left the game when he still had a very good chance. Anyway, we do have uh, Senti Wards here. There's a nice mana burn. Demon Hunter mana burning that Death Knight. Can he hunt down this ghoul? He does have the boots. The ghoul returns to the safety of his Death Knight. Does survive for now. Remember, the Death Knight has that close of attack. He does so much damage, but the Demon Hunter has the Ring of Protection. He can take so much damage. I meant the individual names of heroes. Check now the Elf her hero only has first name, well, and that has first and last. Yeah, I know I know what you meant, Neutron. But uh, a lot of the non undead heroes also have two names. It's just uh, the Demon Hunter, this is not his real name. This is his AKA that he uses on Battle.net because the Demon Hunter is actually a 12 year old boy. That's why the Demon Hunter doesn't have two names. Demon Hunter can hunt down this ghoul. There it goes. Kill the ghoul. Sentry were there in the center of the map. I mean, this is not even two names, by the way. This is also one name for the Death Knight. Lord Nightsaur. Lord is not a name, that's a title. It's not like his first name is Lord. It's just, uh, it's because the Undead heroes are all noble, so they all get their titles. Nightsaur, by the way, also sounds very 12 year old ish. There's another uh, sentry ward over here. Archer's creeping. Demon Hunter is uh, level two and a half. Still quite far away from level three. Death Knight is also level two and a half. There's a nice mana burn there on the Death Knight. <laughs> oh, wolf. nice emoticons. And that power. This uh, ghoul is my cut back. Nice. So the Warcraft 12? How can you be so sure? Maybe you're a banshee casting GCS spying for your Lord Death Knight. Cannot comment on that. It's uh, classified information. The Shadowhunter. Uh, Shadowhunter. There's no Shadowhunter in this game. The Naga just. Uh, Hurting the Death Knight, but the Death Knight does go away, get away for now. Of course, the uh, Unholy Aura helps him a lot. He does have that uh, Sentry Ward over here. He does see the Archers creeping over here with the Angel of War, with the Demon Hunter, with the Naga. Where's the Demon Hunter? What, uh, Death Knight, what's he doing? Not sure what he did over there. But he's being attacked by creeps. He does kill the Wisp. Wisp didn't even detonate, but. Oh well. What item will you get over here? What item are you gonna get, Jack? Well, I don't know. I don't know, because he's first dealing with the Death Knight. All heroes are 12 year old emo brats. Right. <laughs> what does Jack go back? What did you do to him? Put him in a little box we can't escape from we have a panel of energy here for demon hunter not very good on the demon hunter but maybe decent on the naga it's gonna give it to the naga Naga gave the tp to the demon hunter does not give the okay now it gives a panel of energy to the naga all these uh, first all trappers going down two dryads and what else do we see here for check we see bears you should see a tree of eternity. Are they master yet? Are adept. Adept bears. 
Maybe you should get the master upgrade. There it is, master upgrade. Where do when do we see this expansion? Well, a bit later. I want to say after two more bears, he can build the expansion. We see the the lich here with claws of attack. That's very nice. Death Knight here with evasion gives it also to the lich. What else do we have here? More fiends. What hero do we see third here for TBCBM? Could be the Naga. Maybe he throws a curveball to check this game though and goes for Tinker. Although we don't have Phosphorus, do we? I don't see the Sacrificial Pit yet. Maybe this guy is gonna make a Sacrificial Pit. What is this building over here? That's a Sacrificial Pit. So eventually we'll, we'll get some bears here. This, this archer that goes down so fast, this archer as well. She had a nice life though, so she can't complain. This fiend does go down though. And uh, the destroyer, what man are going for uh, the demon hunter? You should probably kill the bear. Some of the ghouls dying as well. The archers all have been killed. Uh, the dryad gets staffed out. Nice staff there, but these ghouls, they, they are dead. Fortunately, there's no staff here for undead, so he cannot save ghouls. With staffs, the demon under pretty low in hit points. He does still have a coil to coil that lich. So the lich should probably be fine. He blocks there a little bit with the statue as well. But the statue now, you can still mana burn the statue as well for another extra 100 damage. If he, uh, but he wants to mana burn something else maybe? I think if he coiled, if he mana burned that statue earlier, he would have another mana burn already available to mana burn whatever he wants. But the demon hunter is pretty low. He has to use the info potion. The statue, can he? Save the statue, blocks the bear, but the Naga, look at the sniper Naga, no, she cannot get to the statue. And the statue survives, the bear gets stopped out, he drives pretty low. And we have an expansion here for check as well. Naga is in a little bit of trouble, because the demon hunter cannot save her anymore, but she does get away safely. But this bear, what is this bear doing here? What is this some kind of hero bear? That thinks he can uh, save the day by himself. Because if that's what he was thinking, he was in the wrong game. He is so dead. Why do you think those sorceresses were attacking their master AM? It's like those two best peons attacking the forest soul. Do you think the peons were a bad influence on the other Warcraft 3 units? Are we going to see more of this? Are we going to lose morality in Warcraft 3 community all because of those? Two stupid peons, jealous of the XP that the piggies would have got. I can't stand this anymore. Is what Neutron is saying. Uh, well, yeah, you definitely hit the nail on the head. Like those peons, they they caused a chain reaction. It's like that Warcraft, like the morale in Warcraft, like the the values of the, of all the Warcraft three units. It's like a domino effect. The peons showed what's up. The peons showed that if you betray your own units, you get rewarded for it. Sources, they've just they just saw that the replay, of course. Took that opportunity. They took uh, the opportunity to attack the Archmage. Of course, it wasn't a really good timing to attack the Archmage, by the way. Nice time timing here, TP out. Uh, they didn't really do much damage against the Archmage, so they realized, well, it's not always smart to just attack your own units. Right, so they did learn like, okay, this is not a bad, not a good timing, but maybe next time, maybe next time we'll see a better uh, timed sorcerer's attack. It will be incoming. We don't know when yet. We don't know why. Well, we do know why, but we don't know when. Uh, we we have been warned. The Archmage has been warned as well. He knows about the betrayal of the sorceresses, but there's nothing he can do about it because he does need to rely on the help of the sorceresses. We are, we have an attack, but we have Pitlord third. Uh, Pitlord is going to die though, so it doesn't matter anyway. Uh, this bear is in trouble. He gets it, does a rejuvenation, but it does get devoured. The fiend goes down. This uh, lich going has to give a TP to the lich, so the lich can TP out. The naga is fine. This went really well here for a check, killing two fiends, killing uh, a Pitlord, losing only one little dryad. One little dryad Man, it was meant to die there. By the way, the demon has so many circlets. And the ring of protection circlets is the best item against undead for any race for any situation no matter what the uh, naga has 600 max mana there's only 300 available right now demon death knight no mana lich no mana phosphorum no mana well the phosphorum can't really use mana anyway so even if he has had mana it wouldn't uh, help him much 
Great. Riot. Okay, well, he's going to creep over here. He needs some more mana. So we can creep a little bit, mana up, and maybe go for another fight. There's the, the Pit Lord. More false worms. The second false worm would be nice. Do we have hippos though? Do we have hippos? Where are the hippos? I don't see hippos. Do you see hippos? I don't even see an Ancient of Wind. Can Jack actually win this without hippos? He has four bears. He has uh, six triads. Of course, uh, the Naga is much better against the uh, false worms than the, the other hero, uh, the panda. Is that true? The haze is pretty good against the uh, false worms as well, but. The Frost Arrows, I'd like to see him uh, put on auto cast on the next fight and just hit those Frost Worms, especially if he gets level 2, and he will get level 2 here. That means 50% slow, that means 50% damage reduction per Frost Worm that it is attacking. But maybe he should be attacking the Lich, that's even more damage redu reduction. Yeah, Naga, if he can if he can attack the Lich or if she can attack the Lich, well, that would be amazing. But here we have a fight. Uh, the Naga in trouble, use Info Potion. It was also a nice Hall of Terror being used, but the bears are in a very bad position. Look at these bears, it's behind the dryads. They cannot attack anything besides this statue. Uh, and this one ghoul that decided to walk behind the enemy lines. There goes this beautiful zero mana mana bird on the statue. What? <laughs> what? Of course, uh, the destroyer probably ate the mana of the statue. The Lich kills a, a Dryad. This bear goes down here. And do we see some better mana burns maybe? Does he have mana for mana burn? He do oh, I mean, of course he has mana for mana burn. He stops out of the Demon Hunter. And I guess without the Hippos, don't stand a chance after all. Especially if he picked the worst position to fight on the entire map. Did he not have a TP, by the way? No. But, well, uh, he does have four circlets here on the Demon Hunter. Demon Hunter is very tough. Didn't have a TP, so he couldn't TP to this base or get a better position. Uh, this statue, though, maybe he gets mana burned again. He only has 15. No, he goes for the list this time. <laughs> Much better target here to mana burn. Naga in trouble. Can he kill the Naga? Uh, yeah, unless the Demon Hunter has stuff. No stuff on the Demon Hunter. Naga goes down. And this is looking. Oh, does it look bad? He did kill both Frost Worms, didn't he? Both Frost Worms have been killed. Naga uses the info potion. The Demon Hunter, you're next. He uses a Hall of Terror, only hits the Demon Hunter. He does minus, uh, no, what? <laughs> the, it's exactly amount, the Hall of Terror is exactly a reduction of the amount of all the circles together and the orb. So it looks like he does, uh, yeah, no extra, no minus. Now he does plus 13 again. So there was minus 13 damage with Hall of Terror. Nice miss there. The Pit Lord missed that attack on the Demon Hunter. And a mana burn for 29. That's my favorite number. A Lich on out of mana. Mana burn for 13. That's even more of a favorite number. Uh, this Dryad survives for now. This Destroyer, however, does not survive. This Demon Hunter just winning the game by himself. But well, this Fiend does not have Burrow. He cannot Burrow. Dryad's uh, and surviving for now because... Oh, there's no nothing to save the Lich here besides the block. Besides the blocking. And he, that was beautiful blocking. That was the most beautiful blocking I've seen all game. What are these statues doing here? They're just AFK statues using Twitter. Not helping the, in that army. There's a Fosworm worm being summoned. TCPM down to 36 supply. Check at 58. And I guess check is just in a very nice position. The Tree of Life almost went down, but it survived in the end. What else do we have here? We have uh, Angel of Wind being summoned or morphed or whatever you want to call it. A beautiful game. Don't false worms look like white walker dragons? Is that from uh, that other series? What was it called? Um, Game of Thrones? Because I haven't, I've only seen like four episodes of Game of Thrones, so I'm not sure. I'll probably will continue watching for now. I don't like it too much, really. It's a bit slow for me. Death Knight's almost level five. Fifty mana to burn zero mana and do zero damage while the other attack would have done more for you. 
When does uh, Jera Cup start? Oh yeah, you're right, Jera Cup. I don't know when it starts, but it will start today. Uh, there was a mana burn that was much better than the mana burns we've seen earlier this game. This drive will go down. The Death Knight is still surrounded. He does have a TP though, so he can always TP out. There's a TP. Uh, we've seen an expansion here for TP CBM. What is this Frost Room doing? It's flying across the map. Great. We do have some evasion here on the Pit Lord. He should survive a bit longer. Oh, hello, Mr. Dryad. Uh, it does survive. I mean, the heroes here, Death Knight is pretty close to level 5. Lich is very far from level 5. Pit Lord very far from level 3. Demon Hunter on his way to level 6. On Fiend out. He's getting more Fiends. Can he defend this? No way. <laughs> okay, he cancelled the expansion. The Acolyte is even retreating. Can he retreat safely? The Demon Hunter is hunting down this Acolyte. There's a Dryad first throwing her spear, spears or javelins, I guess. Throwing the javelins and killing the Acolyte. There's a nice mana burn of 148. That's like my second favorite number. Only one mana burn of uh, one higher. 149 is a better mana burn. You might say 150 is even better. I don't like 150 because that usually means the hero still has mana. 149 is just better because then you know the hero doesn't have any mana anymore. You, you, look, he's, he mana burned 150. He doesn't know how much mana the Pitlord has unless he clicks it. A Pitlord goes go the does go down though, so it doesn't matter that uh, that birdie went down. And there's a mana burn of 59. The Death Knight so long hit points like yeah and, and uh, what's his name? Check and just fight in on that base of course. This is how you win games against Undead. You just fight in their base and win the game. This abomination, look how slow he is. This level two false error for you. Uh fifty percent attack speed reduction and movement speed as well, but that didn't matter at the moment because uh, he didn't need to move anyway. Man number for fifty. That's alright, I guess. GG check wins game one. That is just the uh, fate of Undead versus Undead. You never, I mean, they cre they only creep. They never attack. That's what I'm trying to say. Undead versus Undead. Creep the entire map. And then you fight maybe sometime after 15 min minutes of waiting. Uh, Angel of War being built here for Check. Check is in the green, of course. Check is one up. Here we have TBCBM. He's getting a nice Death Knight. He's getting more ghouls. He's getting a tom Tomb of Relics. This is a very nice base here by TBCBM. Isn't this an uh, exciting game? I think this is going to be a very nice game here. Of course, TPCBM is in the teal, and teal is one of his favorite colors. Well, uh, Jack is just in the green. It's probably because uh, he wants to camouflage. It is uh, still not winter yet in Korea, so the trees are still green. The TPCBM can't see where the army of Jack is. It's all camouflaged. This Angel of War just fighting against his ogre. There's a Demon Hunter. Demon Hunter helping out the Angel of War and the Archer. Getting the item. What item? Claws of Attack. Okay. Piggy. Piggy scouting. It's just seeing what, what's a big fuzz over here. Why are they uh, attacking each other? That's what the Piggy is thinking. Why can't they just live a, a, a quiet life like I do? Just winking around, walking around. Like... Uh, Looking into the forest. Why is he looking into... What's there in the forest? To see. I don't know. This piggy is so cute, man. Look at this piggy. He's even uh, sniffing. The Ancient of War. Great. Meanwhile, we have the Demon Hunter here. He gets that item. Illusions. Not the best item, but still a pretty good item. But he wanted, he wanted, of course, the Sentry Wars. Sentry Wars are imbalanced. It's way too strong of an item. Demon Hunter summons some more skeletons. There's a, oh, there's a fake Demon Hunter, but that's a mana burn on the real Death Knight. On the real, real de Demon Hunter, of course. Let's see what item the Death Knight gets. Of course, if he gets Sentry Wards, the Demon Hunter knows about it. There's a nice mana burn, Death Knight. Only one more coil left. Gets Illusions as well. I wonder if it's even better for TBCBM than it is for uh, Knight of Player. Knight of Player can use it later on... Uh, oh, this Archer goes down, by the way, and it's cool survives. 
and you use it later on bears. Oh, one ghoul does kind of the, the does go down. So it's one for one now. This ghoul might fall as well. It's running for his life. Uh, block, nice block there with the death side. This ghoul very low on hit points as well. Can he get both of those? That would be nice. He does get two of them. So so far it's uh, three ghouls killed. Only one archer is lost here for check. Check doing amazing. So the illusions later, of course, for the Death Knight is very nice on the Frost Worms. So fake Frost Worms. Uh, this archer in trouble. Ah, uh, she's not in trouble. She will be just fine. Archers, they know how to survive. Look, she's, she's uh, sending, blowing me kisses. Did you guys see that? I think she likes me. Like now she's pretending hard to get, you know. Let's see if she blows me some more kisses. Kisses, I bet they are taco flavored kisses. I bet she just ate some tacos. Okay, now she's shy because I pointed it out. And uh, I'm showing it to all of you, of course, to all my viewers. So I guess, she oh, there it is. Look, there she blew me some more kisses and gave me a wink. I never saw that before. I didn't know archers liked me that much. This uh, ghoul got us down. Even though they're killing this ghoul over here. More ghouls, so many ghouls lost for TBCBM this game. Five already, five ghouls lost, and he only killed one archer. Horrible start here for TBCBM. He's uh, still keeping up with XP though. He has a uh, close of deck and a close of haste. That's gonna be nice for the Lich. Nice mana burn there. Lucy lost to this and that, really? Okay. Well, I guess Lucy's out then. Well, he can try again next qualifier. Man, he was in such a strong group as well, and he lost to some undead that no one knows. I guess Sok wasn't, uh, Sok was sick, so his group wasn't actually that strong. The Light and Lucifer and some no unknown players. So, uh, yeah, check and check his screen over here. Kills on uh, Ogre. XJJ WNMLNM. Yeah, them is pretty difficult to pronounce for me. Mostly because there's just no vowels in that name. A nice potion of info is decent, of course. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. In fact, it's the best item, maybe. Uh, 50 mana mana burn is not that much, but it's better than zero. He's been creeping, by the way, with the. I guess the illusions are pretty good for Night Elf because before they have bears, they have very limited moon wells, and with the illusions, they can creep without taking damage. Well, the Death Knight is just using illusions to scout. Doesn't keep them for the Frost Worms. Maybe it keeps the other two for, for the Frost Worms. The scouting, of course, is very important as well. Scouting, so important in this game. That's why the Sentry Wars are so good. Which is insane. Also because with Sentry Wars you're scouting with your, your opponent knowing he's being scouted. With the illusions like he's he's being scouted but he knows he's being scouted. Archers all very low on hit points though. Death Knight can just coil them. Kill them. Yeah, of course they have a Loon's Grace so they... Uh, let's see. Reduces damage taken from piercing attacks to 65% and spells and magic attacks to 80%. So Coil only does 80 damage on an Archer. Healing Wards. Healing Wards is maybe a good item. We'll see. Uh, what item did he get? No, wait, yeah? No, what? I don't remember. Must have sold it. When? You mean, uh, what? <laughs> when what? Let's scream over here. Cause of deck plus six is pretty nice. Yeah, creeping is just beautiful. This is why I watched Warcraft 3. This is like the most exciting part of Warcraft 3. When do we just see them creeping? The entire map. That's a nice tome of uh, strength here. Killing some more of these uh, four souls. Meanwhile, the Death Knight. 
Illusion. Nothing over here. What item did he get over there? Oh, nice uh, Rope of the Magi. That's very nice on the on the Naga. That's like such a nice item. Not only does it add damage, it only also adds a lot of mana for more Forked Lightnings. Maybe he should pick... Uh, well, does it, is he? Maybe... Maybe he decides later what skill is going to pick level 3. Usually we see Forked Lightning. Okay, now there he picked the skill. And this Forked Lightning... Yes, against him that it does make sense to pick uh, pick the arrow. And he kills that ogre guy. A class of attack plus 12. This demon hunter is pretty strong. And remember, he has that 15 second evil potion. This is just perfect. Normally I say like, uh, you rather want your demon hunter not to die than to do damage. And I also say, well, the info potion is pretty good, but in uh, combination with a lot of damage, the info potion just becomes so much that more, so much stronger. Uh, they are very, they're synergized with each other so much. The other way around as well, the claws, uh, the claws of deck and the orb become so much stronger with that info potion. Because you can just stay in the fight for 15 seconds without being nuked, without... Uh, and in 15 seconds you can of course mana burn all the heroes, so afterwards there's no more nuke. Your demon hunter is safe and he can do plus 29 damage attacks every second or millisecond or however fast he attacks. There was the first nice mana burn. I guess in the base he doesn't even need to use the info potion. What is this? There's just a death knight and a lich and two statues. Uh, no more mana on the death knight, no more mana on the lich. This demon hunter can win the game by himself. There comes the Naga Snipe. He's going for the Lich. The Lich gives the TP to the Lich. The Lich TPs out. The school will fall, of course, to insane amounts of damage here from the Night Elf. Another thing he could do is just give these Claws of Attack to the Naga. That would be nice as well. I wouldn't mind that as well. Did he miss the Intelligence Tome? Uh, which one where? does seem like he missed it, yeah. But of course we know the professional players miss those on purpose. Because they don't like to read books. They just hate books. It's just a bad association. Like, ever since high school, everyone uh, hates books. Checking... Oh, wait, what did I miss here? I was wondering why his army was so small. Well, we have Necro ma a Wagon, maybe? Sorry for not uh, paying enough attention here. <laughs> Like, I usually just assume we have the the standard, but I guess not this case. A nice mana burn there on the statue killing it. Necromancers, what are they for? Well, we have skeletons, we have, uh, we have skeletal mages. The uh, lich is almost level 3. Nice mana burn there on the death knight. He's he's out of mana pretty much. Well, it does have the warsong battle drones, by the way, so all these skeletons, extra damage. Uh, do they have upgrades? They don't have upgrades, but uh, we do have the master. As the master wish it. No, that's not what the necromancer says. I forgot what he says, but we do have master necromancers, which means he has cripple, but does not have enough mana. I think you want to see some cripples on the demon hunter. Like, who cares about the skeletons? How much does the skeleton cost? 75 mana. Who cares about four skeletons if you can get a cripple on the demon hunter? The cripple lasts 10 seconds on demon hunters. I just uh, researched this the other day. I was like thinking like, can you get Cripple against Blade Masters instead of Banshees? And, you know, the reason, I think, uh, mo the, the biggest reason why we don't see Necromancers against Orc is because they have very low DPS compared to Banshees and all the other casters in the game, pretty much. And very low hit points as well. They have less hit points than Banshees, I believe. Oh no, it wasn't the hit points too much? It was similar to Banshees. It's just the DPS, I think. Their DPS is just horrible. 8 to 9 damage. Banshees do like 9 to 13, so on average 11. Uh, they, these guys on average only 8 and a half. And against uh, Grunts, for example, or or Bears with uh, magic damage, uh, heavy armor, it matters even more. This Sapper, can he get a Sapper? And yeah, of course, because there's nothing to kill the Sapper. It's a nice Sapper there. Here come the Necromancers. Do we see some cripples? Maybe cripple on the. Zeppelin, I believe you can cripple mechanical units. The archers are dead. The gold mine is dead. <laughs> and the hunted gold mine went down. The all the peasants went down. Acolytes, I mean, there's, n there's no chance anymore for TPCBM. But I do want to see a fight. <laughs> I want to see the necromancers fight. <laughs> Uh, 
Both 10 Wisps and a Fairy Dragons, yeah, of course, against Night Elf, I don't see working at all. I don't know, I think uh, TBCBM just lost his confidence. <laughs> he just went for a troll strategy. He lost against Jack early already, 2-1. to one. Paris just killing his base. Necromancers. I, I wish I just saw some cripples and uh, of course if Holy, Unholy Frenzy is on the Lich. There it is, Unholy Frenzy on the Lich. And I wonder like, I really want to see some Necromancers. Someone try Necromancers against Undead, uh, against Org. Maybe with the Banshees, you know, get some Initiate Banshees and get some Necromancers. Oh, he killed the expansion. Of course with the Meat Wagon, he does uh, fortified damage. How do you call it? Siege damage. A lot of skeletons here just doing nothing. He wasted so much mana. Why? 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 Well, I guess it doesn't matter. Because his main base is out of uh, buildings pretty soon. Oh, we have a fairy dragon there. Okay, there's a cripple. Look how slow the demon hunter is. Oh, dispel. That's not fair. Twice using dispel is definitely not fair. A cripple there on this bear as well. Look how slow. Cripple pretty much removes all DPS from a unit. It's much stronger than something like slow or curse or cyclone. Well, I guess Cyclone is the uh, most similar spell to it. Demon Hunter going for... Uh, what is he going for? Demon Hunter is crippled! Look at this Demon Hunter! He moves so slow. I believe it reduces the movement speed by 75%? No, the... Yeah, 75%. So he moves only 25% as normal. The Death Knight and the Lich are both very low hit points. But uh, Demon Hunter oh, has to TP out. Look how strong the Necromancers are. He just won this fight easy peasy. And didn't lose a single necromancer. But there's this GG. Shaq wins this 2 2 0. Okay, so here we have Loliath against this undead player that beat Lucifer. I think this is the last game of the of the day. Because I'm pretty sure Shaq just qualified from group F. Yumiko qualified from group C, and the winner of this will qualify from group A. So, uh, yeah. Best of three. With Loliath versus uh, XJJWNLNM. I need to learn how to say that, so I'll say it a few more times. XJJWNLNM. Should we like maybe get a shorthand for his name? Like maybe just XJJ. We have XJJ here against Loliath. That's a lot easier to say, XJJ. Like because we have vo vowels in there, right? XJJ. Uh, this uh, Murdoch Nightcrawler is bloodlusted. How did he get bloodlusted? How come we have a bloodlusted crawler here? This guy just bloodlusted that crawler. Amazing. That's amazing. Death Knight got the uh, aura first, but he's playing against Warden. Here come the, the ghouls. Ha 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 on the Death Knight. Shadow Strike. Ghouls and the skeleton. This is very Lucifer esque play. He always does this in against Night Elf. Always comes in with the ghouls. Sometimes he creeps to level 2, but usually he just comes straight away with 6 ghouls with a level 1 Death Knight. Oh, the skeleton gets away safely. His family will be rejoiced that he's still alive. This skeleton, maybe his fate isn't as uh, as positive there, as good. Oh, this archer, this archer can't join the skeleton in the realm of death. There she goes. Meanwhile, these ghouls are creeping this guy. I guess it was no longer bloodlusted, else all the ghouls would be dead by now. What item is this? I want to see the item. Pick up the item. Come on, no, he doesn't even pick up the item. It's so, it was too difficult for Lucifer, uh, not Lucifer. We don't have Lucifer. Did I, I said Lucifer earlier, but I guess this guy does the same strategy as Lucifer. Um, but XJJ is too difficult for XJJ to pick up the item. But now that the creeps are dead, he could pick it up. That ghoul goes down. Lyad kills the ghoul. Now he's killing skeletons. Now he's killing this one skeleton over here as well. 
Lolite has been playing uh, Warden a lot recently. Um, yeah, a lot. Like almost every game against uh, Undead and Human. Nah, not almost every game, but a lot of their games. A lot, very often. Like 62% of the time I feel like he's playing Warden. Meanwhile, over here we have a graveyard going up. If you're going up, Death Knight's Creep over here, Coils the Ghoul, gets a nice item, Replenishment Potion of course, very nice against the Warden. The Warden is going to cast more Shadow Strikes on this Death Knight later, and then the Death Knight can heal back up. But actually, he will get statues, not be, not uh, too far in the future. Did he steal that? I think he stole that. He definitely stole that level 5. Also stole the one of Mana Stealing, which is one of the worst items there. There was a beautiful crash there for me. And I'm reloading the game. I get back into this game. Your building, your building, your building is complete. Please, please, your your building, your building. Okay, back in the game. Death Knight and the Warden are still fighting over here. We're gonna hunting down this ghoul. Can she get that ghoul? She's out of mana. Maybe because she stole the mana from the warden. What a thief. He could have stolen some more mana if he is afraid that the shadow strike is still going to kill a ghoul because he is uh, does have mana now for another shadow strike. Is it gonna kill a ghoul? Is it gonna kill anything? He's not killing anything. Slaughterhouse is going coming up. Uh, there is the call tower call she, calling <laughs> calling down the warden. Uh, the, the ghoul does go down here, I think. Maybe. I mean, the blight generation is a lot. I think the ghoul might survive here. Yeah, he's just surviving. Tough ghoul. Nice job, Mr. Ghoul. Um, right? Yeah, ghoul survives. Death Knight playing over here. Uh, sheep is dead. I missed the sheep dying. Poor little sheep. Oh. Warden. Playing here. Is he gonna get? He's gonna creep over here. Let's see what item he's gonna get. A nice item would be nice. We have some uh, wisps here to repair the Ancient of War. What item does she want? Like a mana stone. Mana stone is the best item here for sure. Uh, maybe health stone or ank is. Not sure how relevant. Usually you don't lose your warden. You just want mana. Like an uh, healing wards might be nice to creep a bit faster. Book of the Dead. Yeah, Book of the Dead. Maybe if she uses it fast. Could be a good item. Uh, of course, Cyclone is always good as well. One of the wind. There it is. Cyclone. A nice item would be nice. No kidding. <laughs> I mean, it, it did go over the details afterwards. F9 level 3. A greater Potion of greater mana. That's, that's a nice item as well. That's the best one, right? Or is it? Does he need a he greater healing potion against the Warden? Does he need the mana? Does get ghoul frenzy here. And we have uh, 38 supply here for undead. 33 here for Loliath. Let's see if he gets another nice item here. What would be nice here? More mana again. Or again, but not again. Because he didn't get a mana item here. So now he does get the Sobi mask. That's nice. Not mask. She's full mana now though. She doesn't have a lot of intelligence, 19. Oh, but there is that Tome of Intelligence. And that definitely uh, boosts the uh, Sobi Mask mana. The war. Fast. Guys coming in to help. Oh, wait, what? Oh, I guess uh, she never picked Blink. Uh, so yeah, she just picked level 2 Phantom Knives. Makes sense. She also has level 2 Shadow Strike. She also has a Cyclone, of course. But this Death Knight has infinite mana with that Potion of Greater Mana. With the Wand of Mana Stealing. With the Statue not generating mana, but health. But that's fine. You can always uh, click this button if he needs mana. He should probably be clicking this button. I'm not sure what he's microing, but... Wasn't microing his statue. Pretty much as in that. If you're not really uh, microing, you can always 
Click this button if you need mana at least on any of your heroes because or, or of course if you have your second statue there with a uh, spirit torch you don't need this either but here comes warden a nice fan of knives and the ghoul gets a nice coil though now there's the cyclone on the death knight but a bit too late a bit after the, the coil these ghouls died so fast two of them died already a uh, lich is in trouble lich micah's away Beautiful Michael there. Oh, the Fan of Knives is killing everything. There's only heroes left here for him that. And not much mana. Well, he does still have the greater mana potion. Uh, another fiend joining the battle. The coil just again before the cyclone. Two times in a row. The cyclone was just a second or a millisecond or half a second or 300 microseconds too late. Oh, we have AP AP defending the base here. Lolite. Of course, uh, Lolite doesn't go for expansion. For, when you go Warden, solo Warden, you don't build expansion because you can just win the game with the Warden. You don't need to win the game with the expansion. Uh, the expansion is only, only risky. Fan for statues with AoE heal, not effective at all. It's effective enough. I mean, the first one, of course, wasn't, wasn't that effective after you went back and healed up. But if it's, uh, if it's, just, a, if it's just a fight, a constant fight, uh, statue doesn't heal enough here and two fan of knives just uh, the, the ghouls are so low on hit points but of course I agree that the statue they do reduce the effect of the fan of knives a little bit and will fall eventually now he goes for the lich lich is surrounded can he no he the bears, what are the bears doing? They stopped attacking the lich. Anyway, the warden is being focused. The lich. Oh, what? Did, he missed his, his coil. Or, no, he didn't. Info potion on the lich. Okay. Uh, I thought he wanted to coil the lich, but lich was invulnerable. So he tried to coil the bear, tried to kill it. Didn't get the bear in time. So I guess he missed the coil in the, in the sense that he didn't kill the unit. And now he's missing the mana of the coil. That's what I meant. Yeah, let's say that's what I meant. He, uh, he wishes he still had the 75 mana instead of coiling the bear. Nulls are going down. Is he going for an expansion now? He's a little bit ahead, I think. So maybe you can safely get expansion up. Like level 5 warden it means he's a lot ahead, right? Wonder if he's going to pick a skill or not. Maybe it will def depend on what he's doing later. We'll say he still has his APAP defending his main. Wonder when he uh his wisp is standing in position. Or I guess wisp don't stand. This wisp was floating in position. This ogre lord is going to die. What item did we get here for on that? It might be even more important than what item the warden gets. Is a clause of attack? Clause of attack plus 12. The lich does plus 23 damage. There's a lot of damage to the warden and not gonna survive for very long. Maybe she needs something a survival item. Uh, Warsong Battle Drums. Um, normally, of course, I say it's such a great item, but because he relies so much on the Lich and not so much on the the damage, I mean the Warden, he relies so much on the Warden, and not so much on the attack of the Warden, not so much of the attack of his army. The Warsong Battle Drums is probably not the best item. It's still a good item. Here goes a Wisp. But uh, like, I'd like the Catgar Spike better. I'd like the Endurance Aura better, I think. And I'd like... Even on Holy Aura better. I think it's the worst item in this case. Right, it just adds a little bit of damage on the units that don't do any damage anyway. Same for the Warden, she doesn't do any damage either. With her attacks at least. We have lives going up. The PIP got killed. The Lich is almost level 3. I mean the worst aura item. <laughs> that would be better. I feel like it would still be uh, better than even the stats item. Even though the stats items give more intelligence, which means more mana. Um, plus, plus 4 intelligence is just like 60 extra mana, a bit extra regeneration. Actually maybe that would have been better. Maybe plus four intelligence that item would be better, but the plus four strength and plus four agility is probably uh, worse than this item. Anyway, here's the fight. This bear gets uh, nuked. The bear does go down. Warden now uh, 
Oh, the lich, whatever the lich is attacking, it's gonna fall so fast. But now the lich is fighting against a bear. Okay, the lich moves back, but she, he's not attacking the Dark Ranger. Trouble dies! To that uh, spell, Shadow Strike. Coils this abomination. This army here for uh, for that doesn't look very strong here. Even though it's 11 supply advantage, just a warden is just too strong. She kills everything. Look at these fiends. Nice TP out there. Just before losing this abomination, these two fiends. Imagine if he TP'd out like two seconds later and he lost two fiends and abomination. He would lose two, 10 food. He would be at the same supply as the warden is. He needs his Dark Ranger back though. He needs to wait for his Dark Ranger to come back and then try one more time. He's still ahead in supply. Maybe he can still do something. He still has a very strong Lich. Even though the Warden is strong, the Lich is strong as well. Warden is uh, level 5 and a half. Bats are 0 0. Abominations are 0 0. They do have Disease Cloud by the way. Destroyers are 1 0. What is this? Zero. No Sacrificial Pit. No the boneyard. Worst. Or first worms. Okay, uh well these acolytes are dead. There's no Zeppelin here to save them. I think he should have seen this coming. After he saw the level 5 warden in last fight. Should have definitely bought a Zeppelin. Uh, because it's not like the warden can creep, right? So if you're creeping and you give the warden the time to the time to do whatever she wants, there's only one thing she can do, and that's go in your base and kill your uh, acolytes. There's nothing else the warden can do. She cannot really harass your your army. To oh, how did he kill the warden? How did the warden die after staffing out? Interesting, because there's no nothing over here that gives damage over time, right? Only the disease cloud, but the disease cloud doesn't kill you after you TP out. I mean, after a uh, disease cloud never kills you, it only puts you down to one health. So interesting. The warden died. And with this, I think that's uh, well, you rebought the warden, of course, at the tavern. That's what happens when you don't seal off your mine with buildings. True, he doesn't have blink. But he could have even. Uh, I yeah, just sealed it off. Would have had to retrain to blink. I'm not sure if that's uh, worth it. If that's something you'd do. In this type of game. I don't think so. I don't think he would retrain. Maybe if he didn't have an expansion. He would uh, try to retrain. But if he has if an expansion. He has to defend this base. Anyway we have a fight here. Two ghouls. Very low of course. After the fan of knives. Uh, they're just dead. There's ghouls dead. One, one bear went down as well. Actually only one bear left. We do have a zeppelin here for the light, so he can always save his units, his uh, well, his warden, unless the zeppelin goes down, of course. There's a rejuvenation here on the warden. Guess this belt. The bear goes down. Uh, abomination went down. Did it just die to the tree of uh, whatever? Uh, that means tree of life. That means no XP was given. I'm not sure if the tree of life killed it. The uh, dark ranger is over here, but uh, the warden is level six. So we have a 10 supply advance here from that. He's a 51 supply. We don't have five acolytes back on gold. 54 supply now. It's looking very good here from that. So after beating Lucifer, is he also going to beat Lolliot? Is this going to be the upset of the century? Is he going to qualify for GCS after uh, qualifying for the qualifiers? This is pretty much what we're watching right now, right? Qualifier of the qualifiers. Well, it's around 48. But. Um, after this, of course, the winner of this match will join the other players. Will join the other five players that we just saw qualify this week, and the ten players of uh, GCS, uh, the ten Asian player that already uh, that qualified last season for the GCS uh, for the continuation of the qualifiers to round of the sixteen. Will, uh, will we see XJJ kill the light here? And then maybe he's gonna win the round of 16 as well. Go to GCS. Is that what we're gonna see? Death Knight has a nice Book of the Dead. Two info potions. Fears of Vengeance. Going poof soon. Poof. More poofs. Poof. Uh, this one poof. This one also poof. Poof. 
Okay, but we have more. We have more spirits. Can the avatar do enough damage here? The statue is being... Statues are being hunted down by those uh, little spirits. The bear goes down. We also have a uh, ogre. The avatar... He killed, maybe. But the destroyers are going down. The destroyers are moving too far forward. The dryads just have such an easy time killing those destroyers. He does kill that ogre. Abomination goes down as well. It's just now dryads and that avatar. And the warden somewhere. But uh, for that, it's just some fiends and the statues. Three fiends, two statues. The statues falling. And now we have Lolight up, 10 supply. Even though we have a level 5 death knight, level 4 lich. I think the heroes for Undead, they might still be able to win this game. Even though it's behind the supply, but... I don't know. There goes a statue. There's no more mana for Coil. There's the nice fan of knives. He also used... Uh... Oh, he didn't... Okay, the word is survives, by the way. Very low hit points. Gives the item to the Dark Ranger. Info potion. Uh, one more fiend goes down. This, this avatar doing so much damage. Death Knight. Uh, very low hit points. He has to retreat again. The expansion stays up. This fiend is going down. And uh, well. The light 41 supply. 37 here for XJJ. Lose three fights in a row. Be one gold mine behind. Still win the game. And then... Well, I think after losing this last fight, it's looking very bad here for XJJ. Nice mana potion. 38 supply here for XJJ, 49 here for Lil Lyoth. He's building another Tree of Life. Uh, this hasn't even been uh, crap, beaten crap fully yet. The averages get a second hero here as Lil Lyoth, if you go over 50. I don't see why not. Like, just get a, a Pit Lord. Yeah, why not get a Pit Lord or a Dark Ranger? With Dark Ranger, you can silence some of these undead heroes. Uh, I'm thinking Pit Lord or the Granger because they cannot get nuked by the coil. So they're much more likely to survive. They can silence. Silence would help, but uh, Pit Lord would be nice as well. Since we don't have destroyers. Actually, yeah, I guess he has destroyers. So no Pit Lord. Never mind Pit Lord. Dark Ranger. I want to see Dark Ranger. But uh, well, he does kill the expansion. The Wisp all detonate. No more mana on the Death Knight. Warden hunting down Acolytes. Doesn't matter, there's only 30 gold left in this uh, haunted gold mine. There goes the last acolyte. Oh, he does have base over here, look at this. Actually, maybe Undead still has a chance here. If he can get some mana back on his death knight. Oh, he has a mana potion. Maybe he should sell this book. Uh, remember, there's still this expansion being built here. Also, we have a Tree of Eternity, free expansion here for Loliath. That's probably why I didn't care too much about this expansion dying. Because he can just move his new tree over. over. Meanwhile, Avatar killing the base here. Since the Avatar is killing the base, he's probably not defending. So that means uh, without the Avatar, it's, I think XJJ's army is stronger than the Lolite army. Here comes the separate Boom. Actually, they're slowly going down. He's gonna. He can maybe build a Necropolis over here if he has the money. Doesn't have the money right now, but he still has a useless Book of the Dead that he can sell. I mean, even if there are no Wisps, this Book of the Dead is still useless. The Dryads have so many dispels, they can dispel all the Skeletons. Or the Warden can just use a Fan of Knives. Kills all the Skeletons in one shot. At least the Melee Skeletons. I forgot if the Ranged Skeletons have more hit points or not. I don't think so, right? Dark Ranger, defending by herself. Oh, did he find his uh, tree? No. The Ghoul might scout it over there. Go for the defense, but uh, TP out here for Lion. This might be a super long game, by the way, because if he gets this expansion up, he's built towers there. Well, actually, that won't happen anytime soon. He doesn't have enough money. This ghoul goes down, and the creeps are gonna kill this uh, tree of life. Tree of life is dead. This tree of life, GG. I think you creep maybe the list to level 5. 
Ooh, what do we have here? Is this a scout? Is he gonna scout his base? Maybe Loliath doesn't like to scout. If he just kills his acolyte, actually, the, there's no more income for him that. There's no more uh, acolytes, so he cannot build more acolytes. He doesn't have a necropo necropolis. Doesn't have uh, this building over here. The, I mean, this one, the Black Citadel. He should have moved the Death Knight here away. So he could have gotten a level 5 Lich, but oh well. Maybe Dark Ranger as well, just to make sure you get a level 5 Lich. More Avatar, more Vengeance here in the base here of Undead. Avatar killing everything. Of course, Avatar does me uh, normal damage. So it does uh, decent damage against buildings. The Spirits, they do uh, piercing damage. They don't do as much damage. Do we have level 5 yet? Not yet. Just 4 more XP. 4 more XP. And it seems like... Does he have enough money? He does. He can build a Necropolis. He still has the Book of the Dead. Is he planning to use it ever? Maybe he thinks if he can kill all the Dryads, it might be useful at some point. But, I mean, all the Dryads and uh, and uh, this guy, the girl, I should say, this Warden. Then it might be useful. And if there's no Wisps around. And you need so many uh, ifs. Before this uh, gets any useful, this Book of the Dead. He kills that first level Berserker. Finally, you have a level 5 Lich. And uh, the Warden found the uh, Acolyte here. The Acolyte summons this Necropolis. He needs to s save this Necropolis. And then staff out here of the Warden. Captain Creeping here. Or, uh, Dark Ranger will get a little bit of XP from that. The other heroes are already level 5 here for XJJ, so they can't get more XP. Uh, XJJ losing his main, but but what? He has nothing up. The Death Knight could use maybe the Book of Death against the Avatar of Vengeance. Still didn't sell it, so he still thinks it might be useful at some point. Here comes Miss Warden. She gets silenced, she gets nuked. Regeneration. We don't have a destroyer. Does he have supply for destroyers? Doesn't. Oh shit. That also means he does have supply for uh, acolytes. He will get 10 more supply after this finishes, but he still will be supply sucked and until it loses a unit. These guys should be killing these uh, ziggurats. The altar. Altar is useless. Ziggurats are not useless. Another coil on the Gordon. Tree of Eternity probably won't go up. It might have a base race. We might have uh, Lolite, or well, we already have a base race, but we might have Lolite winning by killing all the buildings. Because this Ziggurat will go down. This means we'll never see an Acolyte this game. Never see one. Unless he eats a unit now and summons an Acolyte. No, it's too late now. Fly stuck for the rest of the game. 20 max. So these are all the buildings and that has left. As for Night Elf, these are the buildings Night Elf has left. Less buildings, but he has uh, his army here defending. However, the next avatar. Oh, he, of course, he kills the graveyard at <laughs> last. After he kills all these buildings. It's going to be more difficult for the Avatar to kill this because there's the graveyard. There's no graveyard close by these buildings. There goes the Tree of Eternity. What is this? <laughs> Puts a wisp on the island. Uh, if you can get get a tree over here, no, I don't think you can build a tree on one of these islands. That would be so imbalanced, man. I wonder if there's a map where you can uh, build a hide the tree on the on the island. What is a wisp? Of course, if you can get a level 6 Dark Ranger, you can still take control of a wisp. And that's how... Uh... Wait, he's just losing his main. Okay, he's actually planning to... A base race, first of all, but also... Build a building somewhere. How much money does Lolite have? Lolite doesn't have money! How is he gonna build a building somewhere if he doesn't have enough money? 
Oh, he does find these two fiends here. Easy kills on these two fiends. Just lost his last 50 gold to reveal those two fiends. Definitely worth it. This abomination also in a bad position. But here is the undead army. I'm not sure uh, why he split up there. Okay, there's, there are skeletons, but look how fast they die, man, uh, to the dispel. Definitely worthless item there. Uh, Warden has to be careful after their info is is uh, done. These undead heroes just too strong, man. You think level seven Warden? Oh, he killed the Zeppelin. Warden is dizzy. Bears are dizzy. Rejuvenate the Warden, oh, please, one more time. Now, right now, right now. There it is. Uh, well, this bear is going to fall. The Warden will survive for now. He does still have ma mana, by the way. Maybe. Uh, oh, he does have blink, right? Oh, he does have level one blink. Make sure we use it. Okay, we have a dried here. Avatar is still killing everything over here. There's no bases, no more buildings for Lolite either. I think Undead maybe could have won it there by killing all the buildings, but he didn't know. He didn't know Lolite didn't have enough money to build another building somewhere in the corner, so he played it safe. Definitely, uh, oh wait, when did Lolite buy the shredder, by the way? Pretty expensive. Well, Koenova Warden 24 7, best Undead tactics. It is pretty good. And that tactics. Remember, this list does uh, plus 27 damage as well. Okay, now with the Avatar doing a lot of damage on the Death Knight. Death Knight can't eat any units anymore because there are no units. Uh, Drives don't turn into skeletons from the Black Arrow. So if he wants more hit points on the Death Knight, he could turn those um, Murlocs into skeletons, but he doesn't have the time to. But no uh, creeps over here, maybe these. But uh, he still has two statues, actually. He should be safe for a while. Oh, there was a skeleton. Because this will... Can you see three wisps of low light? What? These three? A player's forces are under attack. We even have a wisp over here. <laughs> but he doesn't have a zeppelin anymore. He lost his zeppelin. So these wisp wisps are all stuck here for the rest of the game. This is the only wisp that's free to move around. Okay, he has some skeletons. He should have probably eaten one, maybe. He has some mana to spare. 50 mana. A player's forces are under attack. More than creeping for gold, I think. Uh, items that you can sell for more gold. Slippers of Agility. Um, good. Yeah, good. Just 3 damage. And corpses, of course. Oh, no corpses. And corpses, of course, for the spirit. For the avatar. And just some over, send over there. You will skeleton. So many skeletons here, going at it. There's one. Uh, one dried can dispel all four of them. They only have 290 hit points each, so they dispel, die to one dispel. Gets one, gets two, gets three, gets four. Even drinks some moon juice for more mana. Can he block these uh, these guys from coming into the base? Can he make a line here? But these statues, uh, actually, they do have a little bit of regeneration. The warden keeping over here. There's no bears. Since the warden's all the way over here, and that had a few opportunities to just end the game here. I think he could have killed these buildings way faster than the night elf could have killed his building buildings. But still, he doesn't know that the night elf doesn't have gold for more buildings. In fact, now he can sell items. Um, not that much, but you can always sell items now to buy and uh, build a new building. Well, and that cannot do the same. Oh, he's going for it. He's going for it, but this wisp is going to build something. What is he going to build? What did he sell? He sold both of his items. This wisp is going to build a building. You're going to lose on that. No, does he have stuff? He doesn't have a TP. Oh, he still has a TP. I forgot. The... Wait, did he buy it? He must have bought it. I'm gonna kill these buildings and TP home, but this altar won't even go down. And the uh, Hunter's Hall. How much money does Lolite have? 353. Plenty of money to build another building. Kills the Hunter's Hall, sure. Can he maybe leave the Dark Ranger behind or something? But risky. 
He's not going to DP. He's not going to DP. He just hopes this is the last building. Okay, well, um, this Wisp is going to build a building here. And I think Light is going to win this game after all. Killing this gold mine is going to win him the game. The altar goes down. Tree of Life. The Tree of Life of Loliath being stoned here. There's no way he can get back in time. This is GG. Loliath wins the game. First game of the series. Great, what do we have over here? We have Loliath in the yellow on the bottom right. He's from Korea. He's Night Elf. He goes Keeper first. Huntresses? Huntresses. What do we have here for uh, Darken? Death Knight. Ghouls. Loliath, he doesn't like to play Demon Hunter. He plays Warden. He plays Keeper. He plays Huntresses. He plays Strange. Interesting. Interesting, yeah, interesting. There's the Hunter's Hall. Soon we'll see an Ancient of War, or maybe two. Maybe he's going double Ancient of War Huntresses. This is how you used to play Night of every game. Mass Huntresses, double Ancient of War, Keeper of the Grove. Also how you play a team, 2v2, 4v4. Just use this strategy. And you're going to win every game on Battle.net. I only see one Ancient of War so far. Maybe it's one Ancient of War or Hunters as Keeper of the Grove. That would be an interesting play, so that would be something we've never seen before. Turns out. Forces are under attack. Forces are under attack. So, uh, yeah, no second Ancient of War here. What do we see here from that? No uh, graveyard yet. Did he scout anything? He did scout, I believe. Because we see that he scouted. So, uh, how are you going to play against this? Maybe gargoyles. This is a very gargoyle friendly map. With the drakes. They're just free XP for the gargoyles over here and over here. Like This is how they look like. Die to gargoyles very fast. And the keeper, of course, very bad against air units. So maybe we'll see gargoyles. So Huntress is not very good against Gargoyles either. This Wisp, I'm not sure what it was building, but it was cancelled there. Duke Wintermall, we have Duke Wintermall here for Darken. And we have Nuada as the Keeper. Okay, there's the first Huntress. There's the uh, Night Ultra Vision. So this Eclipse, he gets, uh, what do you call it, entangled. I'm not sure what this Eclipse doing, he was so afraid he moved away immediately. Eclipse went down. And he cancels the attack to build another Acolyte. The Death Knight hunting down the Keeper. With some skeletons. Flies back. Is going to attack again. Comes a flank attack by the Keeper. Attacking from the left this time. But that is, is over here. That is in defensive position. But the Huntress this time. Only one Huntress, he's tacking to Tree of Ages. More Huntresses. Death Knight is waiting, waiting for the Keeper. He knows about the attack of the Keeper. He has his Deforce in a defensive position while he himself is going out for a mission. Is his mission to kill the Wisp? Maybe it was, but he decides, you know what? Maybe there's a better mission for me. Kill the sheep instead. He kills the sheep. He couldn't get a wisp. The wisp was too far away. So he goes for the sheep instead. Not sure. He didn't sell many skeletons from them. The keeper is surrounded by ghouls. And the hunters is killing acolytes. There's a TP out. He kills uh, almost one acolyte. And almost two acolytes. Okay. He almost killed two acolytes. But in the end he killed none. This acolyte is uh, AFK. Still uh, has the scars of the entangle on his body. Finally, he starts by hunting the gold mine again. Imagine if you are in this gold mine, man. Look at all these ghosts. Would be so scary. Graveyard almost up. Ziggurat. Uh... Nice. Okay, now we have a keeper and three huntresses. Where did the ancient war go? He's walking. He's going for a walk. Tree of Ages is up. There's a panda. And uh, the tier 2, of course, was so much delayed. I don't even uh, like our gargoyles anymore. He goes for the fiends. 
He doesn't like gargles either. He goes for fiends as well. The skeleton does survive for now. This is this hunter is hunting down the skeleton. She needs two more attacks. One more attack now. Skeleton at three hit points. Can she get the attack in? There it is. Twelve more XP. Six for the keeper and six for the panda. Panda now starting his journey to level two. And Death Knight already level two, of course. So the panda, he's like also wants to get level two. Kills this null. This null overseer will fall. We have so much lumber, I think. Yeah, 620 lumber here for Darken. Here comes the keeper again, full mana. Can he kill something? No, because he sees the ghouls, he sees the fiends. He's like, I'm afraid. I would be afraid as well. The panda is uh, very close to level two now. Has that ring of protection. If he can get that uh, skeleton. Again, six more XP, exactly at 200 XP. Those two skeletons, very nice XP. High six XP, high game tune some. Sexy turtle. Panda creeping over here. Of course he wants a level 3 panda. The keeper really doesn't matter what hero level he is. He can be level 1. He can be level 12. He's the same hero. Lich, Lich is being uh, summoned. Lich, we need you, please. Help us. Slaughterhouse being summoned as well. Meanwhile, the panda creeping over here. He has uh, Claws of Haste. Eh. Ring of Protection. Sure. Of eternity almost uh, done upgrading, getting more drives, getting dispel on the drives. The drives are zero zero. Here comes the keeper. Careful, Mr. Keeper. The lich almost uh, done. Slaughterhouse is done. Keeper is being hunted down by skeletons. But the keeper, maybe he can get an acolyte, but he doesn't have anything to save himself. No staff, no TP, no boots, nothing. He cannot go for acolytes. Oh, do we have a cube jack here? We have one Dryad. He's getting a... Uh... He is halfway to Tree of Eternity. He's getting more Dryads. Doesn't have a bear yet. No Adept Bears. Keeper of the Grove. What is gonna entangle? He has full mana. I should entangle something ASAP. It's a free entangle. There it is. Entangle on this uh, ghoul. He gets Frost Nova. He gets coiled and dies. Uh, probably. With the next Frost Nova. But he did kill that ghoul. So even though he gave his life, he killed that ghoul, this ghoul gets a coil and will survive. Where's the coil? Yeah, don't coil him. Yeah, don't save your ghouls. I mean, they're useless anyway. Just give the 40 XP to the panda. He's already level 3 anyway. Who cares? Let the ghoul die. We don't care about the ghoul. We care about the fiends. And the coils. He's getting burrow. He's getting... Uh, what else is he getting? He has a black citadel. Probably will get... Oh, backpack! So he can buy the orb without going home. And, and the skeleton world as well. Oh, Sentry Wars. That's so good. Not sure why he didn't place them somewhere already. He should have probably placed them over here. This would be a bit safer to creep. Panda creeping over here. He has Adept Bears. He's level 3. On his way to level 4. He has some extra hit points. Nice. What item did we see over here? Healing wards. So on this map, I like the healing wards a little bit less than a lot of other maps. Because you can't really use it to creep. There's no strong creeps. You can sometimes use it on the high ground because this map does have a bit of high ground, low ground. There goes that goal. Gives the coil against the fiend again. So unfair. Always the fiends get the coils, not the ghouls. With uh, three fiends, they're, they're going for this drive. Maybe this fiend eats another coil. Nice breath of fire. I'm hungry. There goes that ghoul. The fiend is going down as well. It doesn't look too good here for uh, Darken. Well, there's one more fiend. There is Entangled Death Knight. Does not have a TP. Oh, if he just managed to surround there. The light needs to, needs to work on his surrounds. His surrounds are so bad. I've never seen someone surround so bad before in my life. He could have killed the Death Knight, won the game. Uh, kills one Huntress, loses a... Oh, wait, did he kill a Huntress? No, the Huntress all survived. Lost a Fiend, though. Panda level 4. Did he get... Oh, he did get the Drunken Brawler. Panda's now so strong with both the Critical Strike and the Evasion. It's like a Blade Master and Demon Hunter and the Panda in one. That's how strong the Panda is right now. 
Do we have a third hero yet for Undead? I don't see it yet. He's getting more uh, fiends, more statues. Of course, as long as there's no expansion, I feel like Undead can always come back in this matchup. That first Night Elf. Especially without the Warden. Pretty panda strong, but the Keeper is not. The Hunters are, are weak as well. He has three Hunters that are just free XP. Do we have a third hero? Tinker. Tinker. And these Hunters are so low on hit points, they're going to die so fast. Uh, same with this bear. Do we have staff? We don't even have staff and no TP either. This is horrible for Lolite. I think he's just lost the game. Uh, maybe the panda even dying here. Cyclones the death knight. Takes some damage from the creeps. Buys a TP. Okay, maybe he can uh, save his units and not lose the game. Lost that pair. At least he saved two of the huntresses, but... Or I mean a huntress and a dryad. Huntresses are kind of useless at this point. Maybe he should just kill it himself. He is at 42 supply. I guess maybe no reason to kill it just yet. First get two more pairs. Get to 50. And yeah, use the moonwells for now. I guess it's worth it. But uh, especially since you go bears, the moonwells aren't as important as in uh, other situations. But maybe the next fight, maybe kill your own hunters after the fight, if it survives. If you are close to 50 supply still. The Lich has one clause of attack plus six. Tinker hasn't used any pocket factories yet. Death Knight has um, two coils, maybe three. If you get some nice mana from the statues. Of course, there's no Demon Hunter. The heroes here for Undead are way too strong. Don't think this Keeper strategy is uh, very effective here. This pocket factory, a really bad placement. But I guess Undead players, they don't know the placement of the pocket factory. You have to play Nidal for like 12 years before you finally learn how to place your pocket factories. It's like the most difficult part of this game. The Tinker here is surrounded by bears and it gave them an info potion. That's so beautiful because that Tinker surviving is so important because he will have another pocket factory and he's just healing back up to full because of this uh, healing ward. He should hold position the Tinker. There is a pocket factory. Much better placement. Nicely pocked in. Uh, pocked in? <laughs> is that a word? <laughs> Tucked in against the trees. Well, it's a pocket factory so he's nicely pocket pocketed in. Pocked in against the trees, and this tree of life will fall. Keeper is level 2, though. So he has uh, Thorns Aura. Completely useless against most of the uh, undead army, but not against the Death Knight and the Abominations. They will kill themselves. Going for the Angel of Wonders. It's pretty important uh, tree. Uh, tree. <laughs> I call it a tree. Pretty into the uh, in. Yeah. Pretty important building. From now on, I'll just call it a tree. Pretty important tree. All the buildings here are trees anyway, so it does go down. Pocket Factory did its job. This Pocket Factory will go down as well. Then I won't get. Get. We'll, we'll get. Uh, he got some XP. Thirty. Forty-two. 42 XP for the Pocket Factory, I didn't know that. The same as the Water Elemental, interesting. Here comes Mr. Pocket again. That's so Steam Weedle. T has a last name as well. So does the Panda, Kesha, Wild Bear, Burly. Or does not, but the Keeper. Keepers are like gods or something, right? So of course they don't have a last name. What the... The sheep is sick! That poor little sheep! Please give him some soup. Can someone spare soup to the sheep? No sheep, don't walk into the darkness. He walked into the darkness as he was sick. We're doing some harassment over here. Let's see what item he got. Uh, evasion. Okay. At least now the Death Knight can fight against the Panda by himself. Is he so afraid of one Keeper? It's just a Keeper, uh, Darken. Doesn't pick up the Tome of Strength. That's uh, a shame. That item would have been so good. Lich is so close to level 3. 
Well, we have 64 supply here. 61, actually. Did he just cancel a fiend? 61 supply here for uh, Darken. 50 supply only for Loliath. Darken will get level 3 lit here for sure. Tome of Knowledge. At least pick up the Tome of Knowledge. It's such a good item. Doesn't matter what hero, really. Just pick it up. Lich, Lich would be fine with Lich. Uh, picked it up with either Death Knight or the Tinker. It's fine as well. Info Potion. But I'm so Mask. Okay, okay, so we mask. The Lich. Okay. Duke Wintermall is a Death Knight, by the way. Panda's level four and a half. Still pretty far from level five. Maybe if we get all these creeps, but he won't because he's being attacked in his main base. He doesn't have TP. But how much is he gonna lose? Well, one moon wall for sure. He does have the moon wall upgrade. We have the destroyers here as well. The keeper is defending by himself. He has an orb on the keeper. We have one on the panda as well. Yes, two orbs. I like that. That's a nice play by the little lights. He's only five supply behind. Maybe he can win the fight near his base. But remember, the panda doesn't have a DP. How is he coming home? He's walking home. Gets flute of accuracy is decent, I guess. Find him. Well, is it decent? It's. It's. Mm, Mm. That's a little bit of damage to the Dryads, add some damage to the Keeper, add some damage when the Panda is attack attacking air units. Does add a lot of damage to his entire army, but Dryads do a lot of damage because of the poison, not so much of their attack. He went 1 1, by the way. Dryads are 1 1, so are the bears, of course. Hunter's Hall already dead, so he cannot get more upgrades. For uh, that, we have 0 0. Abomination is also 0 0. Altar. Kills the altars so any heroes that are going to die, they will be dead. They will be so dead. Puppet Factory, this pretty nice position here. The bear, what's the bear doing? The bear is dead. Okay. There's that. Wisp, what are the wisps doing? The bear uh, wisps are detonating. And more detonating. And more detonates. Okay. Some of them got killed, some of them detonated. The fiend does get the coil. The first level on the bear uh, panda, but panda's level five. Can the panda win the game now? Level five panda. That's all we hope for, of course. Level 5 Panda is the only thing that can make a comeback here for the life. He needs to stop him out. And, uh, well, we have a split up army here. We have. Oh, what is the body's healing ward? Get rid of the healing ward. Can't get rid of it. The Dryads here are still alive here on the north, but they're all sick. They're also sick, those poor Dryads. Those sick little poor Dryads. Abomination. The panda is entangled. We have a fire hit like two fiends. The haze hit like three fiends. Oh, the keeper! In trouble. Drink some moon juice. He has a healing potion. Use one of the healing potions. The panda used another haze, breath of fire. The the fiends pretty low. The, the drives are sniping the statues. The statues will probably fall here. The destroyer also very low. Drives can easily snipe that, but he's gonna lose some drives for it. Goes for the statue first, now drive for fire, the, the destroyer is done, the fiends are dying as well. He's just abom abom abominations, and like two fiends here from that, he has to TP out that Panda just did too much damage. We still have a chance here for... Uh, the Lion, maybe? He's 20 supply behind, but he has a Panda. He has a Panda, and a Panda, if a Panda can get level 6... How much money left in the main gold mine? 1,000. But in this matchup, it doesn't matter that much. Nido will get a free expansion, often against uh, human or orc or Nido. But against Undead, Undead also gets a free expansion. Because they unsummon the gold mine, they can remake the gold mine. It often goes up before this uh, tree of eternity even walks all the way over. He does get nature's blessing. Before it all the way, way walks over and entangles the gold mine. And then Undead still only has one base to defend. And in this matchup, if Undead only has one base to defend, like the expansion in that case, no problem. You can defend one base. Panda buys the Invis. Is he gonna kill Acolytes? He does have a staff. Acolytes, they're just doing their, their best hunt 
the haunting this gold mine. Then the Breath of Fire level 3 does 170 damage, but if you add the Drunken Haste to it, it's another uh, 21 times 5, which is uh, 105. So it's a 285 damage. That's too much for the Acolyte. Of course, the Haste can only hit like one, I think. Drunken Haste only hits one Acolyte. I don't think he can hit three Acolytes with it. So, in fact, he probably won't even Haste. He will just Breath of Fire. But he will wait for Undead to leave his base. Still sick, by the way. Okay, he just got better. Panda's no longer sick. The Dryads are still sick. Oh no, she just got better as well. Oh, it's out of gold. He's gonna uproot? I don't know. Maybe he's also waiting for these uh, Eclites to unsummon the gold mine and to bunch up so the Panda kill can kill them all in one shot. That would be very smart. And of course we know Lolite is very smart. Panda though, only has 25 hit points. Okay, waited for the Acolytes to move. Use a Haze, use Breath of Fire. The Haze hit like three units, so those are going to die. Uh, not with the statues healing them though. So two Acolytes will survive. And the army is retreating here to kill the Panda, but the Panda has staff. He's gonna stop. When is he going to stop? When are you going to stop, Panda? There's the staff out to safety of course if the tinker pick cluster rockets he could have killed a panda and won the game that's it that's uh that's the truth guys always pick cluster rockets on your tinker just to uh, prevent styles from happening that's actually that's actually not even uh, a meme it's actually not even trolling this is just the truth right he doesn't have anything else that stuns why not get cluster rockets? Maybe that's why it does one damage stun. One mana, one second stun. Just so it can cancel stuff like staffs. One second stun hardly does anything, but uh, on staff, on, on channeling spells, it does cancel it. However, he's still uh, very favored to win this game here, even though he didn't kill the panda, even though he didn't get the cluster rockets. Such a big mistake, but he still has the advantage here. At least... Um, oh. he actually, he's not going for the expansion. He doesn't realize he can go for the expansion. He has a free expansion. Well, is an invisible panda going to kill your expansion? If he is... You can just attack and win the game. Panda can staff back, but... Destroyer here scouting. You have one zero upgrades here on the Destroyer. And the Fiends, of course. Destroyer flies back. Oh, what is this? A Tome of Agility? Such a nice tome. Just lying around, but no one wants to read it. We have... Uh, these two Ancient of Lords helping the Knight of Army here, the Light Army. Do we have healing scrolls? He can always buy healing scrolls from the shop is he, if he has the money. He does have the money, in fact. So no healing scrolls. It's uh, abominations. Two abominations already down. Very fast to going down. Uh, some bears dying as well. One bear down. Destroyer goes down. One uh, bear gets stopped out, but he's stopped out to over here. He goes in human form and heals himself. No, he. What? He died. Not sure how he died. How did he die? How did that bear die? Did he coil him or something? We have another bear here that was stopped. Uh, the Tinker goes down. Level 6 Panda. Level 6 Panda can always win the game. Can he? Okay, there's a level 6 Panda. And we have a Spy Vengeance now for Lolite over Mr. Uh, Darken. This, this abomination. Death. This Death Knight has an Info Potion. This. Uh, Goblin gnome, death. What else is the panda gonna uh, kill? He's going for the death knight. The lich in trouble gets a coil. Also still has the info potion there on the lich. The panda ultimate still lasting for quite some time. He can kill everything. Panda just too strong. Uh, does he have uh, something to see these units on the ground? No. GG. The light win games too.